Welcome in, Gov fans. I'm Robbie Lotz here with Carter Bells and Stan Painter from Marvin L. Boarding Gymnasium. Hope everybody had a good holiday uh, break and ready for a happy new year here in 2024 as the Lady Govs will be in action tonight first versus the Fulton Lady Falcons. Stan, a non-traditional matchup here um, after the break, but after this one, you got a lot of uh, uh, district opponents. Well, actually, Friday night's not district. Oh, either. that's right. That's right. <laughs> but we're, about we're, we're non-district to, anymore. We're, we're used to them being in the district, but yeah. Uh, so a lot of lot of opponents, Robbie. I think it's a straight shot. I'm pretty much till the end of the season, and they've got another Walker uh, Valley on senior night. Right. So uh, so it'll be a lot of district games coming up, and uh, since the last time we talked to you, the girls have went four and two. So. Not bad for them. They yeah, won. really good break other than the injuries they sustain. Right. They'll be without two starters tonight. Ali Everett and Chloe Russell will not be able to go. Uh, and on the flip side, Fulton, who comes in with a record of 4-13, uh, and 13, Stan, that's a little misleading because Sammy Taylor, their Division One player, she is back. She's been back the last two games. If you notice, they won two out of three. Yeah. They lost the championship game in that Christmas tournament by four when she fouled out. Right. So uh, this is not the same Fulton team that you probably saw in early December. Yeah. Yeah, certainly. So that'll be a factor uh, tonight as they come out. So uh, we'll see how, the, how they handle that. Uh, William Blunt, you know, faces a little adversity being – down two players and uh, two starters. Not just two players, two starters. So we'll see. Looks like we got a couple minutes before that and uh, talk a little bit about Fulton. Uh, new coach, uh, but he is familiar with that program as this will be his first year uh, leading the Lady Fulton uh, Falcons. Right, yeah. So. Uh, We'll see there how how they're doing, Robbie. So far is uh, what's the name? What's his name? Is it, is it on there? It's uh, Tony, Tony Cooper. Cooper. Tony, Tony Cooper. Cooper yeah. yeah. So last year he actually so he's assistant for five years, and then last year he went and coached Holston Middle School boys, right. who won a middle the region championship over there. So and he was a uh, one of their one of those kids is a freshman playing on the varsity. Yes, the on the boys. boys. Yeah, he starts. Yeah. Um, Nick Steen, number 10. You'll see him later tonight. As it looks like we're going to get our colors presented tonight by William Lush Jr. ROTC. We'll take it to the court.
back here for the pregame show as the colors are presented. Here's your starting lineup brought to you by Lawn Butler of Knoxville, your one-stop shop. For all your landscaping needs, give them a call, 771-1755. Stan, I'll let you listen to the pronunciations. It looks like number two, or number three, Hill. Number four, Moore. Number 12, yeah. Williams. Uh, 20, or 14 will be uh, Mick. Camara, I think, where they, where they look. Okay. Mick and of course, Sammy Taylor. I can't see now because the lights just went out. So, new starting lineup here for William Blood tonight. Yeah. So, we'll get those. Six foot sophomore, number four, Caitlin, husband. 5'9 sophomore, number 11, Taylor Rule. Another sophomore, number 14, Eliza Hicks. Charlie Scarlett, junior sharpshooter, broke the school, broke her brother's record in threes the other night. And number 20, Savannah Darnell Stan. It's a blackout tonight as Coach Kallenberg held the secret for a little while. He showed them to me back, I think, in September, maybe October. But these black uniforms, and they look nice. Yeah, they do, Robbie. They, the TSSAA were very – we were fortunate to yeah. they let us wear them tonight as usually the home team has to wear white. white. Uh, so this will be the only time you see them at home. So anywhere movers tip off tonight will be between Williams – and husband, William Blunt, will be in black. Fulton in white, tipped up and controlled by the Lady Falcons, and William Blunt comes out in his own defense. Stan? Thank you, Robbie. Moore will run the point for the Lady Falcons. We're joined alongside Carter Bells here tonight as well, as Carter was here early. Yeah, I was today. Yeah, what's up with that? I, I don't know. Good traffic, I guess. 2024 off to a good yeah. start. Yeah. Moore catches it in the lane. Nice spinning move. Lay it up, lay it in. So Moore puts William or puts Fulton up two to zero. Early. Got, got right to the heart of the zone. Man to man for Fulton. Darnell penetrates, gets her shot blocked out of bounds. It will stay on William Blunt's end here early on. Glad you've joined us here on Gov Nation Network and Voice of Champions. No, no JV game tonight, so right. the crowd might be a little slower getting in tonight, but I think it will fill up all As right. Charlize gets to the rack, lays it up, who scoops it up. No good, can't go down, and here comes a rebound by Taylor. Robbie said that's their player that's been injured and has come back here in the last short couple of games during the Christmas tournament. Oh, rebound, though. Go. Luckily, she's out of bounds. Yep. Stan, that'll be the key, rebounding tonight. Right. Without Chloe and without Allie Everett, how will the Lady Govs, who will step up on the boards? It's going to have to be a team effort. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're missing your top two rebounders, guys. Uh, Allie Everett and, and um, Chloe Russell, they're just beasts in the paint. So Here's William Blood in front court as Darnell picks her dribble up, gives it, finally gets it over to Hicks. I mean, not Hicks. <laughs> To Taylor Rule. T. And Rule makes the shot from the elbow to put William Blunt on the board and tie this thing up at two. That's a good sign. Extended her. Usually she turns the corner and gets it, but if she was going to the offside, i like to see if she can make that pull Taylor up. Taylor has it. Rebounds it. Uh, it almost throws it into back court, but it is run down by Heel there, and they give over to Moore. And it comes back out to Williams, who's running the point. Moore is going to take a long three-pointer, nowhere close. Ooh, but watch. she rebounds a long rebound, comes all the way out to her. Still. And stolen as Taylor has it stolen right from her. By here, Taylor Rule. Yep, by Taylor Rule. Here comes Darnell. Darnell's shot's blocked, but put right back up again by Husband. So offensive rebound right there, guys. Yeah, we'll take it and take the first lead. Yeah, kind of a look what I found right there. Blocked right into her hands. Easy layup. Moore brings it across, gives over to Hill. Comes into Taylor at the, uh, at the free throw easy. line. Oh. She tries to make a pass. Probably should have shot it. Gets the steal back, though. And it goes to Williams, who misses it. Uh, she tips it out of bounds. and be William Blunt's ball. So, Robbie, I felt like Taylor probably had the layup yeah. and tried to make a wraparound pass. pass yeah. That, would, that, yeah. That was stolen by husband and then <laughs> re-stolen. So, Blunt was fortunate but there. I do, I do like to see that 
your superstar player yeah. being unselfish, though. That's a good sign for your team. As they get the ball into Husband. Husband's going to turn around. Nice there look go. shot. Good. That's where I feel like her size could be a factor. So, Caitlin Husband with the wheel. That's just a nice hook shot, guys. That, that You can't block that shot. Yeah, nobody's. A big girl like that. Yeah. So, six to two, William Blunt leads. Here comes Taylor with a three-pointer from top of the key. No good. Good job of Eliza boxing yep. out. The, big, and the bigger. Um, almost backcourt. Oh. Then it turns into almost a steal as she's in trouble. Still hadn't gotten across. They're going to get a 10-second count. If they're not careful here, had to be close. Yeah. Is lots of pressure. There's a foul going to be called by Mo on Moore for bumping into Hicks. First foul of the game will go against the Lady Falcons as they trail 6-2 to two with 4.42 left here opening half. Opening quarter. So Blunt will inbounds it. Side midcourt comes into Charlize. Scarlett gets it over to Rule who puts it on the ground. Float her up. No good. And tipped out and rebound by, controlled by Hill. She gives over to Moore. Moore to Taylor. Taylor thought about another three, but pulls back out. And Hill has it up top. They give it to Taylor on the right. Skip it back across to Williams, who gets in the lane. Williams is a pretty good looking player, too, Robbie. out by Savannah. Go, Savannah, go. Savannah can outrun everybody here. She instead gets it to Charlize. Who had spotted up for a three, back to uh, Darnell for a three, and she knocks it down. That's and a Murphy. What's the timeout? Murphy Bobcat, three balls here in the first quarter, and a full timeout called by Fulton. It's brought to you by Trinity Chiropractor. We're going to get your life forces opened up with Dr. Evan Butcher. We'll take a 30 second break. After the quick tire, the, the time out there, Fulton finds herself down nine to two. After they scored first to open the game to go up two to nothing, then a nine point run right there as Taylor almost walks. Never foot, never left before. So it was a good non call, no call. Hicks with the rebound. Hicks is going to run it out. Picks up her dribble, gives it Darnell. Darnell thought about another three. I thought she was going to let it go, but Rule will, and she will score. There we go. Good so job with the extra pass to find Rule. 12 to 2 the score. So Fulton. William Blunt's jumped on him pretty hard here. After falling down 2 to 0. Taylor dribbles. Three point shot short. Rebound by Rule for William Blunt. Gives over to Hicks. In front court. Gives to Darnell. Darnell's going to penetrate. Lay it off the glass. Good. Just step between two defenders to get that yep. ball up. So really good job there by her being under control. Just kind of slowed it down. And, and as you said, Carter just stepped right between the two defenders. And once up 14 to two. As checked into the game now is number 20. We don't have a 20 on our roster, so we'll have to try to listen. Shot is no good. Run out for Charlize. Yep, and Scarlett's got to run out. She's going to lay it up and lay it in. Really good find there, good pass, leading her to the rack. And so Fulton up to Moore, over to Taylor. Taylor makes a pass underneath to McDemmitt. No. They re-steal it. Taylor with a spin move in the lane, shot no good. Rebound by Williams put back in there. Well, Sammy Taylor has really good body control, just really hasn't been able to get anything to fall. There's going to be a turnover. It does end up a turnover, so 16 to 4, your score. In for William Blunt will be Kidd. 
her first action. First sub for William Blunt as Hicks goes out. So Blunt with a short bench, really, if you think about it. Who else they have over there? They've got uh, Sweat. Sweat, Etherton, and, and Yarnell. Yarnell. That's it. That's the only people he's got. Man, Hicks. Well, uh, yeah, Hicks now. Yeah. I mean, that didn't start. Uh, yeah, so Kid, yeah. I guess. So, uh, Shot no good by Moore. Rebound, though, by Williams. Williams gets a nice feed underneath and lay it up, lay it in. Thompson, Thompson who's checked into the game. Well, Thompson, a sophomore, had just checked in as well. So 16 to 6, William Blunt leads here as we near the 92nd mark of the period number one. Fulton led briefly two to nothing, then it's been all William Blunt. And then there goes Husband driving to the basket and she gets a foul called on number 11, Thompson. That'll be Thompson's first. Team second here in the first half. Darnell mm. beats her girl, lays it up and lays it in. She's got seven. So Savannah's averaging 18 points a game. I saw that in the not the prep extra. Yeah, she's up for a halfway season yeah. player of the year for girls. It's Blunt. There's a long shot for number 20 again. Another good box out. Not a very good looking shot there. But I do I do feel like Coach Kallenberg's point of rebounding has got to, through to the girls so far. It's Darnell. Beats her man, lays it, it in. Nice job again by Savannah. Oh, she's just so quick. If they're going to leave the baseline open, she's going to attack it every time. 20 to 6, your lead, flavor of the Lady Governors. Williams catches it at the high post. Thought about one from the elbow as. Good D by Charlize. Yeah, Charlize. Held in the ball. Number 20 almost drags her pivot foot, doesn't they say? So Williams picked it. Williams going to pull nope. up. Shot short. Rebound by Rule. That's Taylor foul. Rule draws a foul from Moore. I believe that may be Moore's two, second. Yep, three on the team, two on Moore. Non-shooting, so pretty clean quarter. Only three fouls called total, all three on Fulton. 15.3 left here. Lady Govs will get possession to start the second quarter also. So let's see if we can get one, one or two shots here at the end. McDermott checks in here for the Lady Falcons. I think it's McDermott. I thought McDermott too as well. but it's It sounded like Tyler said McDermott. Okay. It, it does look like it's McDermott. Okay. Five seconds. Yeah, we've got to do something here as nope. they throw it away as Savannah got too far under and tried to throw it out to Charlize. It goes out of bounds with 1.2. Yeah. So got a little too deep. Boer's going to check back in here. I think I'm going to pick somebody up, not let them just throw it in and have a shot here with 1.2. I think they're talking about number 20. I think that's what Donnie's talking about right now. She may not be in the book. If she's not in the book, that's a technical foul. Yeah, that's what they're talking about. The same thing we had, the same problem we had. Yep, technical. So it will be a technical foul. She was not in the book. An indirect technical. Goes against the bench. Administrative yeah, administrative technical. So we'll... Would we catch it here? Do we get possession, Stan? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so either, but um, I think you just shoot the technicals and then resume. And tw 20 is allowed to play, correct? Yes, she yeah, can stay She's in probably game. in the book under another name. Or a number. Her number. It's not her fault, obviously, but I, I mean, there, she's not on the roster. Now they got want... six on the court. Well, that's a technical, too, when they, if they, well, maybe somebody's going to check in here, I think. No, she ran out there. She okay. So 20, uh, both free throws. They're giving us the ball, Stan. Wow, I didn't realize that. So. Oh, you wouldn't think, I mean, if we could have waited later on, we'd get a better situation yeah. <laughs> to call it on them. Well, I'm sure that it should have been caught when they she checked in. And then William Blunt just throws it in and holds it. And a good first quarter for William Blunt. As they lead Fulton 22 to 6 at the end of one. You're watching on Gov Nation Network and listening on Voice of Champions.
Good quarter for uh, Lady Gov stand. Two three balls brought to you by Murphy Bobcat. Second quarter three balls will be brought to you by Bowen Door Service, making your best first impression. So 22 to six, your score, and we don't. Nice. There it is. Giving oh. go or um, pick and roll kind of there, but Hicks misses a layup. Rebound by William Blunt, or excuse me, by Fulton. Ball's tipped by Scarlett out of bounds. It'll stay on the William Blunt. I tell you, I don't know if this is a 2-3 or 1-3-1 one, one step. But Charlize has been very active. Yeah, yeah I've been trying top. to look at it, uh, Robbie. I think I think it's 1-3-1. One, one. And there's going to be a foul on Hicks, I believe. That was uh, Well, that may be in white. That might have been a refer uh, where they realized they hadn't called one on William Blunt, maybe. Right, that's what I was sitting there thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we did win the first quarter four nothing on foul count, so. I yeah. believe this is a one three one guys. A lot of movement though. Yeah, Savannah's in the middle. And Charlize up top. Oh, nice pivot. Nice shot there by Moore. She got it to go down in the lane. That's how she started the game. So, Robbie, I think Taylor is truly not healthy still. She's not out there right now. She's not been out there. Not, not. Um, originally, like I know what she did over Christmas. She played two minutes each quarter yeah. on Christmas break okay. to try to get her back. So, I think she just went to the table, didn't she? No, she's next to the coach. Foul called here. As I believe that's going to be on. It's going to be on 12. So, Williams. that'll be Williams. And that'll send Darnell to the line for two. First foul of the second quarter. Savannah with nine points in the first. She's looking to be the first girl to double digits. Good on the first free throw. Puts her at 10. T is 22. Is 22 is 20. In the books. Okay. Right? 22. So Zion, Zion, Zion Thompson. Thompson. Okay. That's number 20. Well, that makes sense because it's out of order on the roster. See, 20 before. Oh, yeah, I do see that now. Yeah. As a walk is called on Fulton. So what they did, the roster they give us is got her list as number 22. But it's out of order, Robbie. It's in the spot where I wondered why they had 22 and then 21. 20, yeah. So, so they might have just made a typo on their roster. In a hurry, first day back in yeah. school today. You know, might have. Uh, they didn't start in school today. They go. They start tomorrow. Knox County. Really? Yeah, they, they were out an extra I thought day. that's why this game got moved to Wednesday. Uh, because no, they had to be in school. No, uh, I'm not sure why it got moved, but. Uh, well, we have something pending, very important pending with Knox County Schools. Well, I mean, now now weather related, I think they do have that rule. But right. I, I think maybe. Another good box out by Eliza. I think they had it off, like their teachers were off and everything, so it might have been considered a holiday as a reason yesterday couldn't be played. So the teachers were back today probably? Uh, probably. Oh, okay, and then, and that then, would make yeah. sense. That would make sense. Yeah. And their students go back tomorrow. But regardless, we're here on Wednesday night, unusually on Wednesday night. 535 to go. It goes out of bounds. William Blunt will stay with it. Checking back in is Thompson. So far, guys, on the defensive side, William Blunt has couple, been hounding the boards. A couple local umpires sitting court side tonight, Stan. Tim Bradley and Larry oh, Hunt. Good pass. Inside the husband wasn't able to get it to go. Is Larry still calling high school? Yeah, so well, that's got to be a walk. Wasn't called. Looked like a good move. I mean, so I, I think sometimes Robbie, if it looks good, they let it go. <laughs> There's going to be a foul, probably a good foul, because William Blunt was going to have a layup. It's on it's Hill, go. team second. Yeah, Hicks was running towards the basket there. They only have one girl back. Would have been an easy two, as. Taylor Rule checks in here. She's going to check in for Cassie Sweat. So a little joke that the boys' basketball team is talking to Trevor. You know, he said hit eight threes over yep. Christmas break and set the score record. Well, Charlize had to do him one well, better and hit nine, nine down there. So uh, they give him a hard time. Said, Who, "It's hard being not being the best shooter in your family, isn't it, Trevor?" <laughs> and there's a turnover by Charlize on the baseline. 
Here comes Moore racing in the front court and Hicks. Two. She's made a good stick, or got her hand in there and deflected the ball first time, but when she went for the second time, she did get her, so that's gonna, she's gonna come out of the game with two fouls. Izzy will check in for her. 5.04 left here in the first half. Still just a two to two quarter here in the second. But William Blunt with that 16 point lead after one. Nice take. Bad shot, and she's over. The she was. It was. Caitlin she, did a good box out, but. But didn't go get the ball. Right. You got her box, then go get the ball. There's an air ball. Darnell will get it. She knows what to do with it. Crosses over. And. Taylor might have tipped it off yeah. of her leg, but she saved it. As Kid goes behind her back, shoots it. In in. Wow. Here's your old fashioned three point opportunity by Bowen Door. Fouls on number 10, Thompson. Uh, oh, wait, he just said Thompson, number 10. A 10 is not Thompson, that's Bunton. Bunton, yes. Is she in the game? I see a 10, yeah. I think. Wait, did I? No, I don't think 10's in the it's game. 20. It's 20. 20 Thompson, that's what Oh, he, yeah. The other Thompson, that's her second. And there's a three pointer there by Taylor. Sammy Taylor for three. Yeah, we do have two Thompsons, Robbie. Number 11 and number 20. I'm not sure. So. That ball dribbled off of Zion Thompson's foot, so it'll stay with William Blunt here in so, the backcourt. Yeah, Charlize will bring it up, working against Hill. Number three on number three there. Comes to high post at Husband. Husband almost travels, a little awkwardly looking, but never picked her dribble up. Her Tough foot. take. Yeah, Darnell can't get it to go. Here comes Moore racing in the front court for Fulton. Lay it up and lay it in. That was nice with the offhand. Maya, Maya Moore, she, Maya, uh, she's got three nice strong takes. There's a steal by Williams. She's going to get a layup and lay it in. So Blunt is going to use a timeout. Probably a smart one here by Jason Kallenberg. Full it, timeout. Brought to you by South Park Storage and Penske Truck Rentals at the end of William Blood Drive and 411 South. Three and a half remaining here in the first half. Lady Gov still holding on to an 11 point lead as Fulton started to make a bit of a comeback. Lady Gov's gone cold offensively. That's tough. Here comes Taylor. Taylor, wild shot, block. no good. Rebound by Kid. Kid is going to slow it up, she says. Gives over to Darnell. Darnell wants to penetrate. Gets it to Husband. Husband draws the foul going up. So nice pass from Darnell to Husband. And I believe that goes against Taylor. It does. Her first, team third. Uh, Taylor. A really good job there by Darnell, drawing the defense towards her, leaving the husband wide open underneath. Husband had four points in the first. Nice Get her free five. throw toss. 2.59 to go here in the first half. We'll have stats with Stan coming up at halftime. Very limited action around the area because of the Wednesday night. We may talk some football or something, though. Yeah, we did have a couple good games Monday, didn't we? Yep. As Taylor misses a long three-pointer and rebound by Kidd. 
gives over to Rule for William Blunt. Reminds you, we will be, even though William Blunt's on the road, we will do one of our two road games on Friday, Friday night. night at nice there cut, nice pass, nice finish, and one. Williams with the foul, Darnell with the layup. And Savannah will be at the line looking to complete the three-point play. It does. It does. The bow and door service three ball. Doubled them up. 30 to 15. Two and a half remaining. Of course. You don't want to miss tonight boys contest as it'll be two of the better teams in the East Tennessee area facing off. Right here on Gov Nation Network. Sloan shot my more no good rebound by Darnell. She thought about getting it in gear, but almost loses the handle. Gives to Scarlett. Scarlett over to Rule. Rule behind her back. Back to Scarlett. Scarlett's going to fire a long three. Mm. No good. Rebound by Moore. Good rebound in traffic. Moore wants to run with it. She does. She draws a foul. Down. Savannah was there, and then she just swiped down as she was going away from her. Just make them make a tough two. Team third. Yeah, Stan Fulton, the defending 3A state champion in boys. And they return everybody except for uh, the quarterback who graduated. So they return their whole team except for him, but they replace him with a really strong freshman that starts. Yeah, they, they and you know, Robbie, them moving into the other district. The district they in, too. Yeah. I mean, they're going to have a cakewalk. It is. And last year, we were really, I really looked, 3A was down in the state last year. If you remember, William Blunt beat Fulton yeah. and Alcoa beat them by 25. And then they ended up winning AAA. So. One out of two there for more. So 30 to 16 is your score. Favorite. Here comes Darnell. Thought about a three instead. Oh, body. Drives, and then there is no foul call. Wow. Knocked out of bounds. Touch last by Fulton. I think Sean should have seen that one. His 14th body was on her. Oh, nice on the inbounds. Lay it up, lay it in by Darnell. That is another nice assist for Charlize. Her third or fourth nice pass. Savannah will try another old-fashioned three-point play, and Taylor picks up her second. 135 left, 136. He's probably going to keep her in. Yeah, he's going to check in for roll. If he's Especially if he's uh, limiting her minutes, Robbie. Why would you take her out, you know? Right. Well, Just she did foul out last game in limited <laughs> minutes. I'll say, guys, um, I think this break uh, that, that William Blunt just had did really well for the Lady Govs. They look confident out there. Uh, well, they so. did win four out of six, yeah. you know. So, And really, I heard mm. a long shot by Taylor, no good rebound by Charlize. Both games they lost, one at Anderson County. They're in the County. bonus. They don't call that foul. And Moore lays it up and in. That would have been her third foul. I see why she fouls out. Yeah. She's reaching. As Scarlett gets into front court, picks her dribble up, needs help, gets it to Darnell. Darnell penetrates in. Oh, off foot, fair, uh, full. Yeah, yep. out of bounds with 56.6. Guys, both games that they lost, they were ahead with. Now, you don't know because you don't know what side of the bracket that would have put them in against some more teams. I did talk to Donnie Everett, and he said that they probably, the team that they uh, lost to in the first round ended up winning it. By 20, they beat the team of 20. So, balls turned over. William Blunt, 55.5 to go. So, still four and two, you know, and then two competitive losses as well. So, very close losses. Now, the Anderson County team, the tournament. Yeah. I, I don't think Oneida won. They, they did. That, no. That's who they lost yeah, to. So. Right. So, I don't know who else was in that side of the bracket, but they ended up coming back and winning those games over there. It's another nice box out that time. By, I don't understand. By husband. But to me, that guy was over the back that time. Taylor's shot's deflected out of bounds. Oh, they're going to oh, say no deflection. There's no way that ball wasn't deflected. Yeah, and her toes on there. But should have been over the back. So, yeah. kind of works out. I don't think she shoots one that bad. 
uh, Sweat, who's checked in for her first action in the game for William Blunt. Kid back to Sweat. Sweat dribbles around, finally gives over to Darnell. She'll Looks take for that a, all the way. Uh, nice. Three lay it up and lay it in. Nice. Five layups for Savannah. Six layups for Savannah tonight. 35-18, and there is balls deflected out of bounds with 3.5 to go, so need to lock in right here on this last possession. Don't believe you might have any free ones. As it comes into Moore, Moore tries to get it in the corner. Thompson, Thompson's going to let the expire. She so, got it. Oh, we're going to say no shot. No, it wasn't. And so very not good clock management right there by Fulton. I'm not sure they were aware. Anyway, William Blunt, a good half for them right there as they lead 35-18. We'll take a two-minute break and be back with Stats with Stan. Three, four, six, Welcome back to the uh, A1, or excuse me, to the Heartland Roofing uh, uh, halftime show. I was a little distracted right there, Robbie, with coming back and Carter. And it is, uh, be sure, A, A plus rating in Better Business Bureau and five star rating on Google for Heartland Roofing. Give Nate a call for any free estimate as well as uh, a free inspection as well. Uh, we'll move right into our stats with Stan. Yep section right here and so Robbie you have the first half scoring here. Well stats to stand brought to you by Tim Tipton. Need a realtor? Give Tim a call. See his number right there in the office and his sale number on the screen. Robbie with the first half scoring. Yes and thank you for that. We'll start off with the Lady Gus who had the lead. They scored 35 first half points led by Savannah Darnell with 19 first half points. She hit one three pointer added six layups and was perfect four for four from the foul line. Uh, hold up right here, Robbie. Let's get back to that in just a second. We've got the feed. Feeder Green. Green. Tanner Williams is the participant. He'll get three shots. He wants to feed the student section wow. tonight. He's not greedy. 250 on the line. Well, and you didn't expect to see too many feeds as bounce in, bounce in, bounce in. Oh. 
the southpaw. That looks shorter. I think he, yeah. So he's got one shot left. He's definitely going for the bounce in. Yeah, he's going for the bounce. Short again. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Ball ain't got that much air in for two bounces. $300 will be on the line for the Maryville game, I guess. Yeah. So, all right, well, back to the Lady Gibbs. They were led by Savannah Darnell with 19 first-half points. Five came from Taylor Rule. Five came from Caitlin Husband. And four from Charlie Scarlett. Izzy Kidd added a two-point bucket. 35 first-half points for the Lady Govs. They lead by 17. The 18 points from Fulton, they were led by Maya Moore with nine points. Uh, six points, I'm sorry, four points came from Dee Williams. Two from Liliana, actually, I'm sorry. Yeah, Liliana Thompson. And three from Sammy Taylor, 18. The Lady Govs in a comfortable 17-point lead here. We got about four minutes before four and a half minutes before start the second half we'll take a two minute break come back and we'll talk about the college football playoffs All right, we're back here at Halftime Report, brought to you by Heartland Roofing. Give Nate a call. Uh, Stan, Carter, a uh, couple interesting games. We were talking about how the playoffs have been very one-sided up until the last two years. And finally, we got some really good games on Monday. Uh, the first one goes to overtime, Alabama losing to Michigan by seven. And then the late one that we came down to four plays inside the 15-yard line for uh, Texas to upset or pull the comeback out against Washington. Two really good games. Yeah, uh, for sure. Uh, that that Texas game in particular, I mean, really both games, um, one being an overtime, the other one almost uh, a game winner with like, you know, 15 seconds left for uh, for Texas. Um, I, it's been great, you know. Uh, this is the first year I think I'd read uh, that there hasn't been a 21-point win uh, in the yeah. college football playoff. Um uh -huh. Maybe set, except for the first year. I think in the first year there wasn't a 21-point win. They saved it last year for the beatdown in the championship game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but the semifinals, yeah, we're good. this has been the best semifinal we've gotten. One yeah. thing that was proven: the committee definitely got it wrong because Georgia is still a top four team. Yep, yep. <laughs> but and they also got it wrong because Florida State deserved to be there. So, 
There's no winning there in the sides. It should have been a 16 playoff. Well, I, and you knew going into this playoff that there wasn't, there was no way that everyone was going to be happy right. because somebody was going to get left out and be upset. But now and, America's favorite team still has a chance. Yep. Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Everybody's pulling for them, ain't they? A win just to have to. <laughs> yeah, they might have to yeah. null and void it here down the road. But yeah, uh, I mean, I, I mean, I do have a, I do have a ticket I could cash that has Michigan to win the championship. Uh, but it has the Dolphins, who looked very bad last week, and the Lakers. So, still, still hope alive on the Wolverines for my parlay. All right, we're back here for second half action, getting ready to start, and uh, playing the back in black music, <laughs> nice. the black uniforms. The boys will not be in black, I don't believe. No, but maybe. I think they are, aren't they? Are they? Okay, good. I, I may be wrong on that. I, I don't know. They do have black and blue uniforms. I so. think they. I think they are. From what I, from what I understand. Okay, uh, good. I, I was talking to one of the assistants for Fulton. Here's As a, yeah, go ahead. Steve. Taylor misses the launch as a three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Rule for William Blunt. One and done. Another good job of rebounding. And they get across there. Darnell with it, who had 19 first half points, Robbie. Yes. Front. She penetrates in, throws uh, it off the glass, no good. She kind of just threw that one up there. Yeah, should have. If she would have put the brakes on, probably would have got three pushing her, pushing her from behind. I think she thought she was going to get a foul anyway. As one and done again. Yep. Thompson, or two. Excuse me. Taylor misses. Lady Gov's really been electric on the boards tonight. Charlie's going to watch the long one, no good. Third quarter three balls will be brought to you by Blunt Partnership, where careers and education come together. That's a two. As Rule can't handle the rebound there and goes to full. And they set it back up here. His heel throws it low, can't handle it. It's PBT, point blank turnover yeah. there. That was an easy one. I mean, they're just passing the ball around the perimeter. Yeah, but you throw it right at somebody's feet. Taylor couldn't handle it. I'm going to put that on heel, although Taylor didn't get much effort to go down and get it there. But nice cut in. Oh, she's Darnell, hit. yeah, getting stripped. I thought she got fouled. Yeah, four grab your arm. They didn't call it. They, they've let a lot go tonight. There's a tie. I wonder up. if the boys' game will be similar. Well, they got to be careful about letting it go that because that could be, you know, very competitive. Two competitive teams could get up, you know, yeah. out of control. So, as. We have to get the alternate possession. Stay down here with 6.32 to go. Pretty much been in control this whole game. Fulton went up two to nothing. And William Blunt went nine uh, straight. I tried to get Darnell on the cut there as Charlize, but. It was not there. Nope. And they've never given up the lead yet, William Blunt. D. or Williams shoot shot no good. Rebound though by Fulton. Taylor gets a three point look off. No good. Gets her own rebound. Lost. Almost. Him. Scrabble somehow it ends back up with Williams. She lays it in and draws the foul. Wow. Now they're starting to get some rebounds, but they, these aren't really effort rebounds. They're just long caroms off the rim. Did you get the was it Rule. Taylor? Yeah, it was Taylor Rule with the foul. She's gonna check out. Izzy Kidd will check in for her. That's only the first on Taylor. That may be because of the box out or lack of. Well, is the box? She's the one that was actually on yeah. the outside, not chasing the ball down. Three-point play for D. And we're going to need some help over here. 35 Husband's coming down. Your new score. So this game's not over yet, even though William had a commanding lead. That's Fulton. Darnell picks up a dribble. In trouble. Needs help. Now he gets it to Scarlett. Near the half line. Fulton's been man-to-man -man all game. Darnell, that was a foul. She put her hands right on her. That was another foul. It's Williams. Gets through. Her third. Williams is a junior. She looks like an athletic player, Robbie. I kind of like her length on her. She needs to put on a little weight. There's a block. Nice block out of there by McDemmitt. Yep, straight up. Williams pulls up, shoots it. No good. But battle for Moore gets it for Fulton. So they're getting it. It's Taylor with a three-point look. No good. But right there's Williams. Lay it up, lay it in. So 
here in the third quarter, William Blunt's getting killed on the, on the glass. 5 -0. This basket has not been too kind for the Lady Govs so far. Well, they got to box out. You can't yeah. give that many, that, that many shots. Just there it is. Darnell just beats her. LeBron lays it up. Looks like she got shoved from behind. I too. thought she did too, Robbie. 37-23 is your score. As Moore gets it over to Taylor. Taylor dribbles around. Taylor's one for seven. Yeah, I don't think she's healthy. She kind of gives a little bit to that knee, that one leg, Robbie. There's a nice looking jumper down low, no good. But Kid goes behind her back, almost gets it stolen. You got numbers if you get ahead. Gets it to there Hicks. It nice bounce pass to Darnell, who lays oh, it up yeah. back over her head and it misses the layup, and then Hicks gets hit Third with the foul. foul. Third foul on the line. That's a tough break right there. Yeah, almost made it too hard on herself she going with the taken, reverse. Yeah, she should have just taken it on the left side. Left, yeah. Even if it's with her right hand, she was wide open. So, so uh, Hicks picks up her third, right? Yep, team second. She goes out. And Sweat checks back in, I believe. Williams against the zone. She's going to shoot or give it to Thompson, whose shot is no good. That's way left. And then ball's lost out of bounds. Touch last by Taylor. Thompson's going to check in here for the Lady Falcons. For McDimmitt. See extended minutes here for Sammy Taylor. Yeah. He tried to rest her in the first half, so she might have to go the whole time here standing. So we got two, se two Thompsons, a Taylor on the floor. Moore still out there. And there's a block by Williams, the fifth one. She gives it to Taylor. Taylor's going to lay it up. Good. Good shot. So 37 25. As Kid gets it, as Scarlett brings it up. Back over to Scarlett. Scarlett's going to penetrate. Bounce Taylor press. just ran through Sweat's screen. There's a long three-pointer by Darnell, no good. Crashing the border, husband and Williams jump ball. Alternate possession goes to Fulton. So 3.23 to go. Just a 12-point lead now. Yeah. So a lot more energy out of the locker room, I think, for Fulton. Yeah, and a good start. They got a seven to two lead here in this quarter. As they come up. Taylor gives to Moore. Moore thought about a three from the corner. Instead, penetrates in, pull up jumper, no good. Tipped out of bounds by Kidd. Yep. It'll stay down on the William Blunt defensive end. I well, thought you might have seen it pass back out to Sammy Taylor. She was wide open on the perimeter. Instead, went with the fourth shot inside. Pass comes into Moore. She goes between her legs, penetrates in the lane. Yeah. Looked like she may have walked. That extra step she keeps getting away with. Taylor lays it up and in. And it's a 10 point game. A nice move if they allow that, but I agree, Robbie. I felt like it's an extra step on that. Scarlett with a long three, no good. Rebound by Fulton. Actually, they lose it out of bounds. As she was going to walk, Stan, because she was losing her balance. I think she so tried, she to, tried to let to go the, of it, to and Taylor. it hit the Taylor's left foot. Yeah, it went out of bounds. So Blunt will keep it with 2.40 to go. They need a basket in the worst way, as they've only scored two, what? Two. Two nine, points. Nine to two. This, this quarter, so almost six minutes in, five and a half in. And there is a tipped pass out of bounds. Taylor tipped it out of bounds. So it'll stay with William Blunt with exactly 2.31 to go. There's a pass. Oh, man. As it's not on the same page there. It's a good idea. Just didn't execute. Taylor Rule set to check in now for the Lady Govs. 2.20 remaining here in the third quarter. Fulton has crawled their way back. Robbie, give a, uh, there's a three-point shot. Taylor. Good. So it's a seven-point game. She's came alive. She's up to 10 points, seven this quarter. A shout out to former coach Todd Wright. He's listening. We're watching here on the Gov Nation Network tonight. All right. And another former coach, I think, is on his way tonight, Coach Ballman. So Todd at Oak Ridge 
Oh, Mr. Bunny. Williams 37-32. Fulton has climbed back to within five points here in this third period. Husband with it. Two-point quarter for William Blunt so far. Darnell. The kid. They're going to reset at 1.30 to go. In trouble. Timeout. Good timeout by Coach Kallenberg. I think. Yep. This time out of East Tennessee Insurers, your local independent insurance agency. We'll take a 30-second break. Thirty-seven, thirty-two. A minute nineteen in the third quarter. So crunch time here. It's just third quarter. Nice post there up, and they got it yep. to the husband That's on the wall. Fulton was slow out of the out of the timeout. And a good pass by, I believe that was Darnell. It was making it only hurt where her girl could get it. There's a three ball up and good. Moore with the three. That's only like their second one of the night, isn't it? I think their third. Third one. 39-35. Uh, yeah, three. Taylor's got two of them. It's nice back cut by Darnell. Lays it up. Draws the foul. I believe from Zion Thompson, but Our we'll third. check. We'll check it. Yep. Was on Zion Thompson. So that'll send Darnell to the line for two. Only a four-point lead now. So a 17-point lead at the half. And that has gotten down to... Well, it's back to five now as Darnell knocks the first toss down. Of course, William Blunt down two starters, as we mentioned early on. As Russell out and the freshman Allie Everett could go. She banged her knee in practice, and so we don't know seriousness of that yet. She couldn't go today. Two for two from the line is Darnell. Charlie Scarlett will check in for her. So... 45 seconds to go here in the period. Pass goes in the corner to Moore. Moore. Thompson to Hill. Hill back down to Moore. Moore wants to penetrate against Rule. Almost walks. Instead gets it to Taylor who draws the foul. Husband. And Sammy Taylor who is Turned it up a notch here, looking for her 11th point. First was up and in. It's almost like she took the first half off, guys. It didn't do a whole lot, but like you said, Rob, she's she's turned it on here in the second. Two for two from the line there. She's going to come out right now, so they're going to get her a little extra break here at the end of the quarter. As McDemmitt comes back in for her. Blunt. 41-37. With possession, and With they possession. get possession to yep. start the fourth. So yeah. we'll get the two for one here. What I'd try to do, unless you get a wide open layup. Yes, Savannah wide open in the corner for him to get it to her. Get the back door to her. In traffic, she gets it into husband over to, to Rule. Rule with a floater short. Rebound by Hill. I think she thought the timer was going out. And the time is going out, and the shot is no good. Way too hard and over the backboard. The third quarter comes to a close, but it's a good one for the Fulton Lady Falcons as they cut the 17-point half deficit to four. Don't go anywhere. Watch right here on the fourth quarter action on Gov Nation Network and Voice of Champions.
fourth quarter action here at William Blunt High School. As Kid, William Blunt will have the ball to start the fourth quarter. Kid gets it over to Darnell across the half line. And to Scarlett, William Blunt look a little bit disorganized what they're trying to do right here. And they get to rule at the half line. Nice pass to Darnell. And, there we go. In. and that's how you need to start the fourth quarter after such a stagnant third. Yeah. So maybe they weren't disorganized. Maybe they're trying to just put them to sleep there on that and then got the back cut from Darnell. Lay it up and in and looking for her. I think this may be like her third three-point play the old-fashioned way. And she does convert it. And that's a big three-point play to start the fourth quarter for the Lady Governors. As their 15, 17-point lead had dropped down to four. And here is a timeout time call. Out. Timeout by Fulton. Timeout by Fulton brought to you by Blevins Realty Group, making buyers and sellers happy. We will keep it here as okay. it's just a 30-second timeout. Yeah, 19 to six, third quarter stand. Um, Rule went out early with a foul. It wasn't foul trouble, it was just kind of there. And it took, you know, one of your better offensive players off the court. And when you're down two already, you can see why we only got six points there on that in that quarter. Yep. So we'll see here if Blunt can get it back together. How many trips to the line does Darnell have tonight, yeah. Rob? I feel like she's lived there. She's she, got a couple of three-point plays. One, maybe two, three. three, four, five, six, seven out of seven. So a bunch of those are just one-shot yeah. opportunities. As they almost had it again. His husband, William Blunt, steals it and gets it into the front court. Fourth quarter three-pointers brought to you by the Party Zone, your birthday specialist at the Roll Arena. She needs to attack baseline oh, no. there. It's going to be a turnover and an easy two. Lay it up and lay it in. So. D. Williams has played a great game. Yeah, and that cuts it to five with 6.50 to go. Uh, had her again, didn't see her. She's actually their leading scorer now. And there's another turnover, this time stolen by Moore. Moore's going to go all the way, lay it up. No good. Two Fulton girls fighting for it. They threw up a wild shot, and it goes out of bounds. Touch last by William Blunt. Oh, I believe that was the right call. It looked like it was off a husband's fingertips. I thought the girl hit it off a husband or out of her hand. 6.30 to go. Ball goes into Moore. Moore spins in traffic, blocked partially by husband. And boarded by husband in traffic. Oh, and then oh. a wild pass way up. Back-to-back -back turnovers yeah. for T. Scarlett couldn't handle or couldn't. No way she could have got to that one. As the gym is starting to fill in, Stan. Yeah. One of the most anticipated matchups in East Tennessee. That one blocked again and out of bounds, they'll say. Touch last by William Blunt. Yeah. So Taylor's going to come back in for more with 6.06 to go. Well, Robbie, yeah, you're right. And then not a lot of other games tonight. So, right. you know, a lot of. Oh, they, Taylor had a layup if she turned around. There's a pass in. It said husband got it on the back, touched from around to the back, I guess, but probably was a foul. Regardless, Fulton gets the ball. We're going to get it into Taylor. Taylor works against Scarlett. Spinning, gets over to Williams. Williams penetrates in, yeah. draws a foul. She'll go to the line for two. It, it could be Scarlett. I think it is, yeah. yeah. Her first, team first of the fourth quarter. So Williams, who is one for one from the foul line with a game, team high 13 points, too strong. Uh, Sammy Taylor has 12 and Maya Moore has 12. So three, three headed monster for them on the offensive side. Nobody else has really scored. One for two from the line this time. Just under six remaining here in the game. Lead cut down to four. And Scarlett races into front court for William Blunt. Gives over to Darnell. Darnell's going to run it from the top. 
Somebody come picks help a dribble him. up, needs help, finally gets Rule. Rule, ball's almost stolen by Williams. Rule's going to penetrate, kick it in the corner to Scarlett. Who penetrates in, kicks it back out to Hicks. Back out to Scarlett. Blunt will reset with 5.20 to go. A lot of standing. Scarlett can beat her girl, gets to lane, lay it up, round the rim and off. Tough luck there for Charlize. Here comes Thompson, gives over to Williams. Williams Charged. with an offensive foul, not called. Oh my goodness. Thompson runs it back down. I'm not sure what they, they were watching. Taylor. Taylor's shot good. Two-pointer. Yeah, inside the three-pointer. Savannah point was line. sitting there waiting on it. Felt like there was enough contact there. Was not a flop, I didn't think. Maybe Easy kids set to check in. Timeout, Coach Callenberg. No, it's a yeah, official timeout. Oh, Charlize okay. came up gimp on the uh, layup take, and she she barely made it back down the court. So kid will have to check in for her. So it's not a timeout. No, not a timeout. Team, they'll go to the bench. 4:42 or 4:46 to go. 44:42. Your score. Oh, and there's going to be a turnover right after the inbounds. Three fourth quarter Moore. turnovers for Taylor. Moore gives over to Williams. I think we got more turnovers than we have shot attempts this quarter. And Williams is going to lose it. Turn it back over. Ooh. It's a touch last by William Blunt. So. Okay. 4:31 to go. Timeout. timeout white, 30 second timeout, Robbie. Yep, this one brought to you by Circulation Station, relieving pain with technology. Get three free treatments when you mention you listen to the Voice of Champions AM 1470. We'll take a 30 second break. back here at William Blunt High School. That was actually a full timeout, not a 30 second. As they changed it after. He may not have had a 30 left, I'm not sure, but it will definitely be Fulton's basketball, only trailing by two. And they get it to Taylor, who shot no good, but Williams is there to lay it up, lay it in, and tie it. So, second half, William Blunt has just got killed on the glass, Carter. Yeah. Um, a lot of second opportunities for Fulton. And it feels like Fulton's been a lot more aggressive. They have. And on the, this end of the defensive end as well. It's now oh good. Darnell can't get the little runner to go down. Chance Two. for the first lead since the first bucket. As Taylor loses it, picks it back up, but the ball's just They whipped. just want the ball more. Right. And they get it. Time out again. By Fred. Who hit that last layup, Stan? I was away. Uh, on that putback. Williams. Williams, another one. Yeah. This timeout right here brought to you by Bonner Burger, home of the two for $9 quarter pounders with cheese. Just a 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it here. 44 yeah. 44 with. I lost well, the timer's off. Yeah. About two or three minutes left. I think it's around uh, three something. Robbie, I think Fulton maybe had just one timeout left. That might be big too later on. I think I saw that. Oh, uh, uh, point goal, hand up yeah, one. Yeah. So as we're hitting here, but Blunt, I mean, was up 17 at the half in this game, and they've just kind of, and you guys are right, Robbie Carter said it, uh, and Robbie, you said it then, uh, they're, they're just more aggressive in the second half on the offensive glass, and then on the, on the defensive boards, I mean, on the defensive, they've turned it up with the defensive pressure. 3.54 to go, so we still got a long ways to go in this one. Good to see Charlize back in. Yeah, as Blunt, they're already missing two starters tonight, so didn't want to lose another. It's Moore tries to turn the corner. Walk. That's a walk. There that it time. is. They got it that yeah. time. Man. You got to call that one. 3.36 to go. Taylor Rule checks in for Eliza Hicks here. As 
Bolton picks up full court pressure. As nice baseball pass to Darnell. He's going to go one-on-one -on -one against Hill. Oh. Can't get it to go. It's a tough break there. It bounced two or three times, but it comes down. And here comes Williams in transition. They're going to get Rule with the foul. Going up, says Sean. Yeah, her second. More importantly, chance to take the lead. 3.25 to go. And Fulton last led two to nothing. So they now take their first lead since then at 45-44. With 3.25 to go here in the contest. In regulation, I should say, Robbie. <laughs> yeah. This one does have the feel of a game that could go down to the wire. 46-44. She hits them both. Last game we did here on Gov Nation Network went into overtime. Yeah, that's true. William Luck Farragut, boys. Darnell penetrates in, gives over to Rule. Rule's going to try to drive on Williams. She does. Gets her shot off. No good. Little, little firm. Here goes... The other way, Williams shot no good, but there's Taylor to clean it up and draw one. Shot was no good on the putback, so she'll get two shots. Husband. I believe this one's gonna be on husband, it will be. Hicks set to check back in here for the Lady Govs. Rebounding is becoming a factor. As Taylor cannot hit the free toss. Hicks is going to come in for husband. Looking to extend the lead. And she, she will. Three-point game now. Pass comes into Scarlett. Scarlett's going to race into front court. Gives over All to the Rule. Way. Don't stop. Rule's going to lay it up and in. Good. Here we go. Blunt, much needed basket by Blunt right there. It's Taylor Rule gets Her it back to first one bucket point. since the first five of the game. No. As Taylor shot no good, but there's Williams. Another Kicks it out to Thompson. Board. Thompson shoots an air ball though from the three. Rebound. Got to the make them pay when they're pressing right here off the re off the miss. Kid gets it. Gets it up to Taylor Rule. Blunt's going to set it up. Two twenty to go. They trail by back one. Cut. Oh, man. Stolen. And I believe it was Wide Williams open. who got the deflection. It comes back to her. Lay it up. No good. But and there are, is. Oh, okay. Oh, it, it, ball, loose ball comes out of there with Taylor. Taylor Rule gets it to Charlize. Charlize tries to get it across. Ball's deflected. Spot the up. Hicks. William, well, let's settle it. Settle it right here. I mean, it's just it's two helper so skelters. So suspect on the ball handling. Right? Yeah. Passes right now. Every pass is contested, and we keep continuing to throw. Overhead passes. 150 to go. Darnell is going to go, and there she's going to draw a foul against that Taylor. Did not look good for Taylor the way she fell. I believe she's okay though. She pops up. Yeah. Hit the ground really hard there. We're going to have a third, substitution. Her third team second of the quarter, so non-shooting. Well, 144 catch. to go. She's going out. Yeah, McDemmitt's going to check in for her. I'm sure this is by far the most minutes she's played all year. She's only like her fourth game back. Darnell with it. Blunt trails by one, a minute 30 to go. Picks her dribble up in Bad trouble. Spot to pick out. it up, gonna need a timeout. And finally gets it to Scarlett. Scarlett hits the back cutting rule, who's too far under. Ball's oh, loose wow. on the floor. Good hustle by Hicks. Tie up. Will go to Fulton, but couple hurt Falcons there. As Hill gets up slowly. And so did uh, Moore. A lot of girls hitting the ground hard within the last 30 seconds of play. So 120 to go now. William Blunt's got a foul to give. Still guys, before they get into the two shot bonus. I think we just play aggressive, yeah. Well, I think they're gonna hold it. So we need to play aggressive. Yeah. Gamble for a steal right here, especially get it out of her hands. But that was the turnover, the leg, banks yeah. off Kid's lead. Got a bounce with 102. Husband, Husband checks in. in. She's going to check in for Izzy Kid. Taylor back in. Sammy Taylor back in for uh, Fulton. 
Pass comes into Taylor. She posts up on rule. Brick. Wild shot, no good. Rebound by Darnell. Run all the way, Savannah. So Savannah's going to go all the way to the glass and Body. draw a foul against Zion Thompson. Zion's fourth foul. No, just third. I had one wrong earlier. Savannah Darnell with a game high. 21, 23, 25, 26, going to the line for 27. Got it. And importantly, it ties the game with 52 ticks left. The junior shooting guard will have one more. Two for two from the line. She stays perfect from the line tonight. Full timeout, William Blunt. This one brought to you by Trinity Chiropractor, where you get your life forces switched on with Dr. Evan Butcher. We'll take a 30 second break. Two point one to go in this one. Blunt up by one. They led by 17 at the half. Fulton came back and took a three-point lead. Blunt has got it back. Moore pull up two sh two point shot. Good. Good. That was nice. So Moore knocks it down with 40 seconds to go. 49-48. Fulton. Scarlett gets it into front court. Blunt's got plenty of time. They try to get Bad it to hit. No good. Or just foul. And Got to get the ball. Williams has it. 30 seconds to go. Rule fouls. That's the one to give with 24.4. So now it'll be bonus, double bonus. And even if they do make two free throws, they're still not out of it. No. I think we can get a steal right here. Or a tie-up would also give us Yeah, the possession, possession goes to William Blunt. It comes into Williams, and husband flips it out of her wrist, or out of bounds right there. Williams is four out of five from the foul line, but she shoots that high archer. You know, don't know how what she shoots on the season, but 80 percent tonight. And husband is going to foul Taylor immediately in the back she's court. She's three for four tonight. I don't think she's the one you want to foul. 21.7. But she might be a little rusty and not had a lot of game action. But you don't want to, like to say you don't want to waste time either. Extend this game as long as you can. She hits the first one, rattles it in. Very low shot. Two point game now. That one short. right there is short. Rebound by Williams. Got to be over the back. My goodness. Darnell gets it. 50 to 48, 18 seconds. Darnell races into current. Turned she it touched over. it. No, no, no. Eliza grabbed it. No, no, no. Craig, Craig's going to tip. Can't. No, he's right. Eliza touched the okay, ball. Yeah. She did, okay. <laughs> She, it was off. I thought the girl, I thought it hit the girl on the back. It did. Okay. And then she dribbled it out of bounds trying to save it. We got a foul now. 14 seconds. Oh, she walked. Got a foul. Hop, looks like there. she hopped on that catch. Scarlet fouls, 9.5. So she hits both of these guys, it's over. Yeah, if Eliza didn't see that happen, but it hit off the fair, uh, Fulton girl's back, and it could have been a our ball underneath her own goal with the inbounds pass down two. She's four for five tonight as D. Strong. It drops in. But it hit off the back, in between the, the heel and the glass and dropped in. Misses this is it. this one. And, and gets the own rebound. rebound. Gets her own rebound. Six seconds, five seconds. Adios. Yeah. Four, point four. Four, four Lady Govs in there and D. Williams, the shooter by herself, and she gets the rebound. That's a tough break. 
Williams with two shots coming here. Wanted to ice it. Short. Short. Still alive. Yeah, one timeout left. Or two, maybe, actually, for William Blunt. Long. Missed it. Four seconds. Savannah's got to heave it. Two seconds. One. Off to the left. That's the ball game. Blunt comes up short tonight, 51-48. As they let them, that would get away from him. Only scored 13 points in the second half total. And Fulton comes away with the win, 51-48. We'll take a two-minute break, and we'll be back on this one, talk about this one, and talk about preview this good boys game coming up right after these two minutes. The 30. Well, okay. This is the Heartland Roofing post game show. We're back here at William Blunt High School where William Blunt has a tough one. The girls do tonight, dropping to 9 and 9 on the season with the heart breaking 51 48 game. The reason I say heartbreaking uh, to Carter is they had a 17 point lead at the half and then just Fulton comes out a lot more aggressive than they are kind of just felt like this one got away from them. Although they were down two starters, yeah. but they built a 17 point lead without two starters. So regardless, tough loss for William Blunt. Uh, they got to get a quick turnaround and go to Heritage on Friday night. We'll go right into stats with Stan, brought to you by Tim Tipton. Need a realtor, give Tim a call. You'll see his office number there as well as his cell number. Tim's been doing this a long time. Any kind of needs you need, he can take care of you there, Tim Tipton. Uh, realty and Carter, you have the scoring for the finals uh, scoring for the girls contest. Thank you, Stan. We'll start with the victorious Lady Falcons. Only four girls scratching for them, essentially three, because one of them only had two points, that being uh, Liliana Thompson. Their leading scorer tonight, Dee Williams, with 19. Uh, with 16, you have Sammy Taylor, and then Maya Moore with 14. Now the Lady Govs, their leading score tonight by a country mile, Savannah Darnell with 28. A couple girls with seven points, that being Taylor Rule and Caitlin Husband. Uh, Charlie Scarlett with four and Izzy Kid with two, uh, leading to the final score, 51-48. Um, tough loss for the Lady Govs, as you said, Stan. Down 17, or up 17 at halftime, excuse me, and then uh, it's almost like Fulton lulled them to sleep with that. Um, came back much more aggressive and ended up taking the lead and winning it in the end. Yeah, they did, so 51-48. 50, of course, Darnell did get a shot off at the end, but uh, it's a half-court shot, you know. I mean, that's just whatever there, so. But regardless, you know, they got to come back and get ready for a tough Heritage game on Friday night as they go to Heritage. And I'm going to forewarn you, you're going to see some more physical play on Friday night, because that's the way Heritage does it. You know, that's the way they play. And uh, it seems like when Carter Fulton picked up the intensity and, and the, you know, 
the second half, they just kind of got all the loose balls, all the, the rebounds and so forth. And I think that really started with uh, pressure on the inbound. I don't think they – they really weren't that aggressive with it in right. the first half. And then the second half, they started double teaming, trying to trap, and uh, it really caused problems for the Lady Ghost. All right, we'll take another two-minute break, and then we're going to come back and preview this boys contest coming up right here on Gov Nation Network and Voice of Champions. Free game. We are back here at William Blunt High School where this is the Heartland Roofing pregame show. So a lot of anticipation for this matchup here as Fulton comes to town. Last year, William Blunt went to Fulton on this date. And uh, up, I guess maybe... Robbie, I guess it was an upset. I don't know. Yeah, at the time, we weren't really sure. William Blunt was coming off a loss in Florida. Actually, two losses in Florida. This year's team lost um, in Sandestin in the semifinals again to uh, Nolansville. For, uh, it was William Blunt boys' second loss of the season, so they're 15-2 now. But they bounced back and beat the host school, which they didn't do last year in the consolation game. So better job of bouncing back. Yeah, South Walton Beach. Yeah, and down there in that tournament, Caden Wendell, my goodness. Yeah, man. he went he crazy. Breaks, he breaks the school record of a 40-point game. Uh, so now he's got the record for most points in a season last year. He'll break that again this year. Um, he's got most points in a game, uh, most career points. points. Uh, he's just he's averaging 28 points. He's shooting 66% from the floor. 55% from the floor. And Stan, in that game, he had six assists in the game that he scored 40. Wow. So it just tells you, and, and that just that's a lot of assists in a high school game as the state leader averages seven assists a game. Yeah. Uh, so that just tells you how good of a game he played that. He is averaging a double-double at 28 and 10. Grady's right behind him at 19 and seven, with also with five and a half assists a game. It, it was, uh, other than the loss to Nolensville, it was another successful trip down in Destin for the boys. Certainly, certainly. And, of course, Fulton comes into this game, and, and Rob, Robbie, of course, those are the defending 3A champions. 
and they've played really well this year as they only have one loss. Yes. And that was to uh, – That was the last week after winning 32 straight games. They lost in the championship game of the Page Christmas Tournament. Um, to a team it, out of state. Uh, no, no, no. It's Murfreesboro Central. Oh, okay. What's the, it, was, it was weird that they lost by 15 points to a team that's – Nine and six. Yeah. It's kind of an outlier here of this season because, like I say, they beat Fulton or they beat Bearden. They beat Farragut. You know, some some good wins. They beat Maryville uh, handily. Uh, just a just a really good team, and just they dropped the ball last week in that championship game, which kind of you just really wonder. They're led by the uh, two twins, uh, Tanaj and Taj Kimber, Tanaj and. And Taj. Danaj is Taj. number four. Taj is number 20. He does a little bit more of the scoring. And then, of course, they have the Huntsville, Alabama signee, number 44, Tyler Lee, who's a 6'6 uh, forward, uh, who can also step out and do some things. And they're just uh, a jo- another Jody Wright coach team, well, Stan. You know what you're going to get week, year in and year out with Jody Wright. Well, that's, that's the thing, Robbie. You know, Jody Wright on the bench and then – this is a very talented team, and it would not surprise me if they don't win it again this year. No, I, I, I don't. In 3A, in I really three. think it's setting up nice for them again. And these boys, like I say, they made a run last year, only lost one player off of that team. And this year they're going to replace him with Nick Steen, a, a freshman number 10 who will start tonight. Um, that's This is just setting up a good – and like you say, the arena's named after him that they play in, Stan. Jody Ryder yeah. Arena over there at Fulton. That just tells you the type of uh, – yeah, he's been there a long time, and I think he... Uh, maybe winding down, Stan. I don't really know, but... Yeah, a lot of people are anticipating that. I think maybe, you know, this could be it. You know, win back-to-back, but I don't know. Uh, they've got seven seniors. Yeah, uh, yeah. But I think they're going to be pretty good, though. Uh, you know, they, Rob... They is, usually are. Yeah, they usually get kids, you know. I mean, it's just... They just reload, it seems like. You know, you just don't have fault in the bad year. Although they did not have a great football year this year. Yeah, that's another thing. That's probably going to, you know, you know, some of those two-way players that yeah. might, might, some of those stand, I hate to say it, I feel like they're going to Bearden now. Yeah. But uh, Fulton is 14-1, and one, we mentioned. William Blunt 15-2. and two, So on paper, this looks like a really t- great matchup. Last year, Fulton did win the 3A state championship. William Blunt beat them 71-65. William Blunt plays 4A. Right. It is a division higher, but it doesn't, doesn't tell you anything. Uh, that decides that this team can really play. So, 32-game winning streak was snapped last week. It's on. It'll be looking to build one tonight and start one back again as William Blunt had to restart one after they had a, I think, a nine-game winning streak uh, going into of course, Florida. William Blunt's only other loss is to Hamilton Heights early in the yeah, year. Yeah, the prep school out of Chattanooga. A very not, talented team. Yeah. That, so. and they played well. William Blunt played well, led the second half of that game. Uh, All right. Well, that's about all we got to say about this one. It's going to be a fun one. We're going to take a one-minute break, come back with the uh, starting lineups here from Marvin L. Boring Gymnasium. You're watching Gov Nation Network and listening to the Voice of Champions, AM 1470. Back at William Blunt High School as we're getting set to go here in what should be a good one. At the Marv, a, William Blunt, or Bill Wallace Court. And they're going to make a, a recognition here, Robbie, also. Yeah, Grady at the Anderson County Tournament went over 1,000 career points, Stan. And I was doing some math. 
And if he averages this 19 that he's averaging for the rest of the season, he will be number two all-time leading scorer wow. when he leaves campus. Uh, and he didn't play varsity his freshman year either. Right. No, yeah. neither one neither one of these guys got any points as a fresh, uh, freshman. And he didn't really get that many as a sophomore either. I mean, he was he was on the playing time, but he didn't, wasn't. But congratulations to G-Rob, Grady Robertson, on a great accomplishment there with the yeah. Cousins. Anytime you score 1,000 points, and especially, Robbie, in 4A high school, because a lot of teams don't play to your junior senior. Right, exactly. Here's your Lawn Butler of Knoxville. It's a one-stop shop for all landscaping needs. Starting lineup for Fulton. Number four, Dinaj Kimber. Number 10, Nick Steen. Number 15, Dexter Lewis. He's a good player. Number 20, Taj Kimber. And number 44, Tyler Lee. They're coached by Jody Wright. William Lund in the black uniforms tonight on home. It's a blackout. Student section in all black shirts. Number five, the quarterback, Brett Cortez. Number four, Trevor Scarlett, sharpshooter. Score record eight threes at the Anderson County Tournament. Number 21, the six seven senior, Lucas Henson. Number 11, G. Rob Grady Robertson. And the senior, number 20, K Dog, Caden Wendell. They come in with a record of 15 and 2, coached by head coach Kevin Wendell, assistants Grant Reardon, Jordan Tarver, and Jordan Conley. All black tonight, Fulton in all white. Anywhere movers, tip about to be tipped up. Give Alvin Janetta a call, 865 235. 4108. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this one, fellas. Tipped up and into the hands of Dexter Lewis. He'll hand it over to Kimber. Pull up jumper. Good. good. Two nothing Fulton. That was Denage. Denage. And they'll pull, pick up and a and turnover. turnover Great. Immediately. Oh, Lewis. Four nothing Fulton. Not a good start. No. William Blunt start. kind of starts throw. If you if you start slow tonight, Robbie, you may be out of it. They Wendell. finally get it in the front court, down four to nothing. <laughs> yep, seven and a half to play. We've played 30 seconds. Robertson to Cortez. Look where the offense is being ran, out by the timeline. Trevor thought about a three, attacks in at the elbow, finds Robertson. He'll turn the corner. He'll get in. His shot is blocked. Not strong. Steen with it. He will lay it up and in. Six nothing. In the front court to Wendell. Wendell trap will find Cortez. And he'll go back to Grady. Grady fouled by Lee. It'll be the first foul of the game. It'll be on Tyler Lee. Yeah, it'll be his first, team's first. William Blunt will take the ball out, out of bounds. See if Grady goes after him. Nope, Caden will. Caden shot up, shot in and out. Wow, wow. halfway no. down. That's weird. Here comes Tyler Lee in the front court. Left hand bounce to the corner. Dinaj has it right side to Lewis. Lewis will attack. Over to Lee. Lee kicks it up top. Two in a row. Three ball, no good. Rebound, Caden. Robertson into the front court. Trap. No nope, good defense. That's Taj. Garden Grady tightly. And... That one did look like it was off of Kimber, so I believe that was a good call. Inside pass to Wendell. Wendell shot short. short. Wendell 0 for 2. Steen will lay it up. Lay it in. 4 0. Timeout William Blunt. 8 0. Fresh, or 8 0. I'm saying 4 for Steen. I'm sorry. This timeout brought to you by Trinity Coyote, or actually South Park Storage and Penske Truck Rental. At the end of William Luck driving for 11 South. We'll take a 30 second break.
bring it back. We're back. Slow start. Minute into the game, or two minutes into the game. Here's a three ball. Trevor shot up, shot short. Backside board cleared by Tyler Lee and the Fulton Falcons. He brings it into the front court. Crosses over at the foul line. Nice take. Too easy. Yeah. No defense. Lipinski will get the call from the bench. Here comes Robertson into the front court. He'll attack the elbow, pull up shy, short. Didn't get it up. Can't buy a basket right now. Lee barely in the front court right there. As the ball's tipped out of bounds, it'll stay with the Falcons. Kimber left side to Lewis. Lewis looks down low, short corner jumper, good. Wendell into the front court, has it. He's gonna pull up for three. Bottom. There we go. 12 to three, William went on the board. Five minutes left in the first quarter. Here comes Denage, left hand bounce, hands off to Lewis, going into the high post, spins in the paint, shot contested by Lipinski, boarded by Lipinski. Here good comes day. Trevor. Keeps his head up, finds Robertson. Robertson will attack. No, goes left corner to Wendell. Wendell will attack the baseline. Finds Robertson. He'll lay it up. He will lay it in. 12 to 5. Just got to get the lid off of it. It's contagious after that. Inside pass to Todd, or uh, Denage. I'm sorry. Gets an easy bucket. Got Cortez out of position right there. Easy lane to the basket. Wendell picks up his dribble. Four and a half to play. Grady has it. He'll find Lipinski on the roll. Find Scarlett. Get a ball screen. Cortez has it. Right side. Looking inside to Lipinski. He's caught it. Finds oh, nice pass. Wendell for a one-hand jam. Assist. Lipinski, two points. k dog. Steen has it in the corner. That's the first shot for Taj. No good. Rebound G-Rob. He's got Wendell ahead of the pack, but he underthrew it. Stolen by Denage. Denage will cross over, get into the paint. Shot up. Shot no good. Rebound Lee. Lee spins. Shot blocked by Wendell. Boarded by Robertson. Was it Lipinski? Maybe. Here comes Robertson over to Lipinski. Lay it up. Lay it in. David Punk to Lipinski. That's that's Polish for two points for Lipinski, guys. I you probably to, I probably butchered look, it. You had to look at your notes. I know, you're right. I don't speak well. Pull up. Short rebound. Robert or uh, Trevor. Nearly stolen. Wendell's gonna step into one. In and out. Tipped out. Oh, by, nice tip by Cortez right to Wendell. Foul by. Let's see who the foul is gonna be on. It's going to be on 10, Steen. Uh, Steen, yeah, he's first. Team second. Three subs in for Fulton. So they are playing eight. So far we played six. We'll have uh, Dabrowski in shortly. Wendell catches it back to Cortez. Three minutes to play. William Lutt down by five. Now, what That's is this? Be. Are we playing that type of ball? This guy just fell to the floor. Oh, yeah, he just flopped. What? That should be a flop warning technical. Wumble picks up the foul, Robbie. His first, team's third. Cortez, 65% foul shot shooter. We'll get to the line for two. Way strong on the first one. A little flat, too. Robbie, the only flop technical I've ever seen called, or flop, no, it wasn't technical warning, was against Grady right. that night. I've never seen him uh, called in high school. Cortez 0 for 2. Good box out there by 2. Smith on the shooter, Cortez. That Good was nice. Robinson rebound Lipinski. Head up is Grady. Grady into the front court. We'll try to get past Taj. Cannot. Now Cortez has it up top. Extended, finds Trevor on the right side. Looking into Grady and skips it over to Wendell. He'll catch it. He will score it. 14-11. 
two, two, two left here in the first quarter. The help by Molden a little slower out there. Wendell able to get it up before he actually gets to him. Here's a three. three blocked again, ball. Robertson. Three. Oh, they're going to say out of bounds. I couldn't even hear. That was Lipinski that got the block, wasn't it? No, no. It was, was it? It was yeah, Lipinski. Lipinski got the block. Two blocks for Lipinski already? Yeah. This kid's come to play. Blue Blum will go zone out of this inbound set. And they'll trigger it up top to Derek Smith. Derek Smith, a junior, really good player off the bench for Fulton. Blue Blum, man to man. It was a zone. Nice move there by Taj Kimber, though. Yeah, he's tough. Mid range is tough for him. He is nice. Browski nearly fouled. I think he got to Kimber in the side of the head or something because he's like. Yeah, I mean, as, he, as, he, as he swiped down. Yeah. Fade away, 18 footer Wendell air ball, rebound off of Fulton. One thirty to go. What was the score? What was it? What was it? What did we start down? 8 0 with the timeout. Did they score again? Did the, uh, is it 10 0? I think so. Yeah, Lee hit the baseline yeah. jumper, I know. Didn't know if it got more than that. Robertson working against Denage. 120 to go here in the first quarter. Trailing by five. Robertson works it in deep. Finds Trevor, corner three. In and out. Lebrowski don't get it boarded by Wendell. He'll score it. 16-13. One minute to go. A couple three balls that went in and out for the Govs yet to scratch. First quarter three balls brought to you by Murphy Bobcat. Your extra effort. Oh, I'm sorry. We got one. Wendell hit. Wendell hit. Yeah, that's right. Taj thought about it. Now finds Denage. 45 seconds. He kicks it. Oh, clean look. Boom. The help came off. And a wide open three. 19-13. Lead back to six. That was Taj. Taj is a really good shooter. Extended outside on the wing is Wendell to the Dabrowski. Jackson has it. Crosses over. Well, plenty of time still, 15 seconds. Wendell gets it, tries to turn the corner, and finds Robertson with nine, eight. Crosses over, loses the dribble. Here comes a fast break for Smith. Four seconds, three, lays it up, and good at the buzzer. Your score at the end of one, Fulton 21, William Blunt 13. We'll take a 60 second break. Good quarter for Fulton here on the road at Marvin L. Boring Gymnasium. Cortez finds Wendell. Wendell stripped. Here comes Steen with it into the front court. Gets into the paint. Finds a player over there for another layup. That is number 14, Dexter Molden. Player screen to Wendell. He'll step into a three. Bottom. Second quarter three balls brought to you by Bowen Door, making your best first impression. Nice flare screen there, a good find by Grady. Molden steps into an 18-footer, good. 
Yikes. That goes, we're in trouble. Brady Pitt working it over to, against Lewis. Skips it across to Trevor. Has to reset at the volleyball line. He's trapped. William should have an advantage, but we turn it over. Steen with two steals this quarter on Wendell. Lewis is a capable three-point shooter, and so is Lee. Lee gets in deep, though, and takes an easy two. 27-16, leads up to 11. This might be the largest of the game. Wendell, right side extended, gets a ball screen from Cortez, goes to Robertson. Robertson in the paint, shot up off the side of the backboard, rebounded by Steen. Pull into an eight footer strong. Whoa, but he get the roll. Timeout. William Lunt calls their second timeout of the game. This one brought to you by East Tennessee Insurers, your local independent insurance agency. Point lead for the Falcons here with 6 11 left in the second quarter. High post Wendell finds Robertson, thought about a three, gets in deep, shot up. They're gonna call a foul on 10, I believe. Yep, it's his second. Yep, Grady's gonna earn a trip to the line. Two shots coming here. You said Robbie Steen picked up his. Second, it's first of the second quarter. Grady knocks the first one down, his third point of the night. See if this gets Grady going, getting to the foul line. No good on the second one. So Blunt, one of four, Robbie, from the line so far. Need every one you could get against this bunch. Lewis will find a lead. He traveled. He rocked. Yeah. He don't think he caught it cleanly and had to take that extra step, Robbie. Underneath. I thought he was in between thinking about dunking yeah. it or. It may have. It may have been. But what, regardless, that extra is what. We'll take it. It's like a two-point turnover because he was going to get two points. Wendell, right side, goes up to Cortez. Cortez hit Molden in the face. Unintentionally, I think. But Inside he pass glasses off. Nope, going to go back off the foot of Taj Kimber. Good hands there. It's actually Cortez poked it away. So I don't know what happened on the entry pass. Wendell has it. Inside shot. In and out again, rebound, Henson, good. Good job, Lucas being active on the glass, cuts the lead to 10. His first basket of the night. Looks like a 2-3 zone for William Blunt. Lewis going to get a three. No good, rebound. Oh, no Of has. Jeez. Over to Robertson. Robertson will get to the foul line, throw it to nobody. Another turnover. Their layup. Lewis, I'm sorry, uh, Smith. Smith, Derek Smith, layup. Wendell, player screen to Grady. Grady, pull up, eight footer, too strong. That was a good looking shot that time. Just didn't Holden go in, in the paint, stolen by Wendell. He's fouled. He's going to go against Molden, his first. Team second here in the second period. 
Wendell averages almost three steals a game. William Blunt has yet to be whistled to get for a foul, Robbie. In the game? Yep. Well, that's good. Well, we're sitting in the zone, so maybe that helps. Cortez throws it. Thought it was going to be a turnover. Trevor thought about the three. Gets to a mid-range pull-up. Short. Rebounded Taj. They bring it into the front court. Dinaj inside. Outside pass. Lewis thought about a three. Fulton just holding it out top, getting the play call, see what they do. Little alternating positions here in the zone. Got the clean look to Lewis, didn't shoot it. High post to Dinaj. He will throw it to Lewis up top. And it's his brother. Bricked it, though. Rebound into the hands of Wendell. Baseball pass to Cortez. Caught over to Trevor. Trevor will lay it up. No good. No good. Got to convert those. Dinaj inside the Lee. Lee. That was nice. That was a one-handed facial. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one of the better ones we've seen in this gym, that's for sure, at the high school level. It's a flop. Wendell. Another flop. That. Count the bucket. Don't think they are. They're going to say baseline. Lee second, team's third. Jody Wright's going to have conversation with Craig Price. Lipinski checks in here. He'll check in for Henson. I, I really, Robbie, I thought they should be nothing there. I didn't yeah, think there was enough contact yeah. for either way. Yeah. I mean, they should just let it go. Kind of weird but. how they're flopping like that. Robertson, no good again. He's out of bounds. Thirty-three, nineteen, two forty-five remaining in the first half. We've well, once been zoned most of the game. Fulton working it around. Three ball, Kimber, Brick, Don't rebound, Brady. Nobody's with him. He's off and running. Oh, out. In deep, he's fouled. Crashes down on, I think they got Kimber. Yeah, 20. Taj Kimber, his first, team's fourth. So I'll send Grady to the line for two. He's, what, one for two currently? Yeah. Yeah, one, one for four. We don't have any towels, guys. First one is good. Lead down to 13 now. Two for two from the line. Now at 12 with just over two minutes remaining here in the first half. Smith dribbling. Nice, nice dribbling exhibition. Fulton being very patient here. Yeah, you got a 12-point lead. Yeah, why not? Larger around. Kimber could have shot that. Smith will. Short rebound Lipinski. Head to Robertson. Wendell's over there. He'll turn it over again. Saw him too late right there. That Intercepted. Might be Grady's fifth turnover. Strong rebound. Oh, my. That put back by Travis Turner. Robertson. Walked. Another turnover for Robertson. Game is way faster now. 
something else. Fulton defense is something else. Yeah, it is. It's one of the better defenses. Whatever happened. By high school they didn't thing. like losing that 32 game winning no. streak, did they? Around the horn they go. Taj, pull up. Strong rebound window in traffic. One minute to play here in the half. Before the half. Halftime couldn't come any sooner. Scarlett thought about it. Can't get it up. They'll work it around. Elbow extended is Wendell. Oh, oh come an offensive on. foul on that, that one. Is, that one might have been one of the softest ones we've seen yeah. tonight, guys. No, I don't, we'll have to look at the replay. They he could, said that he extended the elbow, and I, I don't think so. No. He just turned that, kind of well, in that direction, and the guy fell down again. Jody Wright got that call. Yeah. Uh, on the previous one, Jody Wright got that call because I saw him talk to him a long time. And so, yeah. yeah, so you know. why, why he said the elbow was extended is why he called the foul. He just pretty much made that up. They're going to hold for one shot here. Yeah, 14-point lead, and they're going to hold for one. And possession to start the second half. We ran out of them. You got fouls to give. I mean, it wouldn't be bad just to foul them. Smart move right there by Cortez. Two seconds left. I mean, I like it. You still got another fouls to give. You don't not in foul trouble at all, so. Yeah. Uh, Cortez and uh, Wendell each have one. That's it. Oh, wow. Wide open three at the buzzer. How did that happen? Your score at the half, Fulton 35, William Luck 21. We will take a two-minute break, come back with halftime festivities. Back at William Blunt High School, where this is the Heartland Roofing Halftime Show, brought to you by Heartland Roofing. Be sure to give Nate a call for a free estimate or free inspection. Take care of all your roofing needs. We've already had one hit banked in there at the halftime shootout down here. Here's your halftime scoring, brought to you, Stats and Stand, brought to you by Stats with Stand, brought to you by Tim Tipton Realty. Give Tim a call for any realty needs you might have. In the first half, Tyler Lee leads the Fulton Falcons with eight points. Nick Steen, the freshman, has six points for the Falcons. Five points from Taj Kimber. 
His brother has four, as well as Derek Smith four, and Dexter Molden four. So very balanced scoring for the Fulton Falcons. Dexter Lee Lewis, excuse me, has two, and Travis Turner has two. All in all, eight Falcons have scored for Fulton. On the William Blunt side, they are left, led by Caden Wendell with 12 points on the night. Grady Robertson has added five points. Two points each for Matt, Max Lipinski and Lucas Henson, and that's it for William Blunt. So they've only got four guys that have scored, and uh, a majority of those points, 60% of those points, are scored by one Caden Wendell. Once again, your halftime score is full 35, William Blunt 21. We'll take another two minute break and we'll be back here with some uh, discussion of this first half of basketball here at William Blunt High School on Gov Nation Network and Voice of Champions. Back at William Blunt High School, excuse me, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Yeah, you got it. Uh, half, the Heartland Roofing Halftime Show brought to you by, of course, Heartland Roofing. I want to thank them for being our halftime sponsor, pre-game, post-game show. Did you see Micah hit me up for a dollar and then go down there and make it? <laughs> so Did he hit you Micah, up for a dollar? Yeah. Micah Ballard. You think, you think I'll uh, get half of that thousand if he wins it? Well, I think you should make the argument. Micah's won a lot of, didn't he win a car he one won. time? Yeah, he won a brand new Ford over at uh, Thompson Bowling for making the most consecutive free throws. And, I mean, it's like, so we'll see there. He, he'll probably come back and win it that last game. So, um, Robbie, your thoughts on the first half here in this game contest? Yeah. I, I thought Fulton played really well defensively. I mean, they just you just don't get good looks. Yeah, nothing nothing easy. Uh, we, we don't have anything official stats, but uh, Grady didn't have a field goal right. And Wendell only he had, had one. Grady had one. Oh yeah, he did get a layup. So yeah. one, maybe one for five. And Wendell, Wendell had some that went in and out. Nothing easy for him. Uh, of course, we had a lot of turnover. I mean, you can't turn it over. And we only hit one three. Two. Two threes. Yeah, Wendell so. hit two. So that's it. So uh, you know, three of six from the line. You know, they didn't get to the line, and uh, so a very motivated. 
Fulton team as Jody Wright brings his bunch back out. And uh, Yeah, Robbie. but it's, it's, it's William Blunt defensively. Um, they're sitting in the zone, you know. I wonder how long they can do that, you know, before you have to do something, just, just change it up to do something because Fulton really has looked really good tonight on offense also. It not only is their defense, but they, they, they played yeah. a complete game so far. And really, uh, their best scorer to me is um, Taj. And I don't know, did he have five? Um, Taj had four, I believe. No, he had five, you're right. Yeah, he had a three. His, his twin yeah. brother had four. Yeah, so yeah. So he, he, the, the twins only having nine points. Yeah. It just tells you. Tyler Lee has eight, Robbie, but they had eight guys that scratched yeah. in the first half, you yeah. know, so I mean, they're, they're deep. Yeah, they got a complete team. So that was not uh, defensively, though, Stan. They just, the ball pressure is really what's dictated this game so far to me. It's look, it looks like they uh, are just all up in William Blunt. Yeah. And the offense is being ran out near the timeline. Yeah. So we'll see if we make some adjustments. And uh, But nobody's in foul trouble, and it's pretty clean half um, other than that, uh, or on that side of the perspective. William Blunt, Colton will be in, in possession to start this third quarter, leading by 14. 35-21. But Fulton will start with the basketball here. William Blunt's going to have to get some defensive stops. I'd like to remind everybody that we will be at Heritage on Friday night, so tune in for it. Uh, one of our two away games. Lee Actually. has it. So, William Blunt, 1 3 1. Actually, 2 3 still. Short jumper, short rebound. It's got to be over the back. So. No call. That's got to be a foul. They're going to call a wall. A lot of contact underneath yeah. for it to just be a turnover. Wow. Inside to Taj, over to Lee, shot up, no good. Rebound Wendell. We go left side to Grady, skips it, Trevor finally gets a clean look. Bottom. There you go. Third quarter three balls brought to you by Blunt Partnership where careers and education come together. Trevor. Deflected it. Blocked from behind. Grady's third block. Steen misses another. Rebound Grady. Rebound. Get a quick five right here. Lindell scores. Go get hard against the Oh. He does. That's the lead to nine. Quick 5-0 run for the Governors. Down nine. Here comes Lewis in the front court. Shot. Don't bail him out. Brett Cortez picked up his second personal. That's a weak call as the guy was flipping the ball over the back of his head. And he knocks it in. That is Dexter Lewis, his third point of the night. First free toss for the Falcons. And, and other than the little run about midway through the first quarter, Fulton really has been, been in control this entire time. Lead has not really been decimated at all. Yeah, need another quick spurt here. Started with a 5-0 run. Fulton answered there. We'll get the switch with Lee. Robertson will turn on him, get in deep. He's not vertical, he's not vertical. And a floater on the other end. Wendell chased it down, but they stripped it out of his hands. Let's go. And then a foul, so they'll go to the free throw line. This is crazy. Tyler Lee was not straight up on his yeah. on yeah, that last take by Grady. This foul's on Wendell. Debrowski's no, to check on Lucas, in. Lucas Henson. 
Oh, I thought I saw 20. 21, I think, is what he said. Okay. Steen, the freshman, hits it. As Grady goes out, it may be because of that. He's hobbling. He's limping. I think on that last one down here. Both. Makes them both. Fulton, perfect. Four for four from the line. And then a turnover underneath. Nobody getting oh. open. Cortez <laughs> tried to throw it to Scarlett, who was coming to the backcourt. Good ball movement. Good. Dexter Lewis. Short jumper. Good. 15 point lead. Fulton answered the quick spurt by William Blunt with a 6 0 of their own. Flare screen, Wendell, clean look. Didn't shoot it. It's going to be foul. That would be Taj. And then a bench warning on William Blunt's bench. Not sure what that was for. They called the foul, so why would you? Everybody's sitting down, too, when they called it. Well, of course, we don't know what was said. Yeah, Taj Kimber picked up his second. That's the team's first. Two shots coming for Wendell. Nails first the first. Up and in. Wendell, 86% foul shot shooter this season. Two for two. 41-28. Five forty-five remaining in the third. Short corner, back to Lewis. Got to get on the shooters. Skips it across. Turnover. Point blank turnover there. A, by a rare turnover by Fulton. Just Minaj. To. So five thirty-four to go. Lipin Max Lipinski yep. comes in. Grady Robertson is still not on the bench for the guys. I saw him go back to the, I'm assuming the training room, the trainer followed him, get his ankle taped up. Scarlett picks it up, finds Cortez, inside pass to Dabrowski. Could have went baseline, didn't get it. Now they'll work it. Back to Trevor. Trevor to Wendell. Wendell shoots a corner three, short. Good box out by Fulton. And into the front court. Here comes Todd. Denage kicks it to Taj. He'll take it to Steen. Steen now to Lewis. Clean look for three. No good. Rebound. Steen. They're going to call a foul Lipinski. on Lipinski. Oh, is this a foul? Gosh. William Blunt's third here in the second quarter. Third quarter, excuse me. I guess because he didn't flop when he lowered the shoulder. Rattles the first one home. Perfect three for three for him, five for five for Fulton. As Robertson trots back out to the scores table, he's set to check in. He will check in for Scarlett. Two for two from the line. Freshman's played a good game. That was almost a walk. Yeah, it looked like he shuffled his feet. On the catch. 15 point deficit. 16.40 left in the game. I'm sorry, 12.40 left in the game. Lipinski left side, inside pass to Dabrowski. Working against Lewis, Lipinski will pull. 15-footer. Off-ball foul on Cortez. <laughs> Cortez his, wondering what he did. Trying to get an explanation third. from the official. What in the world is this guy calling? Yeah. And Grady's going to get a foul called on him, I think. Foul count up to six to one and a bench warning this quarter. It's a foul five fest. Five to one. Ladies and gentlemen, a foul fest. Oh, that's only five? That's five. That's the fifth right oh, there. Okay. So, 
but two shots coming regardless. Grady's first. So it'll be double bonus for the next, for the last four minutes here. So, and the way Fulton is shooting the free throws, that's not good. No. Because they're seven for seven in this period. About every one of them, is Robbie, has been shooting fouls. I think with the exception of the box out down here. Fulton presses. Grady has it in the middle of the court. Gets in. No good. Out of bounds off of William Blunt. Just over four minutes remaining here in the not third quarter. Get a whistle. No, you're not going to get a whistle tonight. Nope. Short. Three ball, no good. Tyler Lee takes it. It's fouled in the act of shooting. Why are we fouling? This one's going to be on Lipinski. His second. Make him make a shot. So two shots coming here for Lee. And this is this is what this is what a college basketball game looks like. If you guys ever watch college yeah. basketball, that's all you see is free throws. And they finally miss one. As they were eight for eight. Falcons have William Blunt's offense discombobulated yeah. at this point. Really unable to find any sort of rhythm. As uh, over two from the line this time. That's why he fouled Robbie. Oh, okay. Well, 15 footer for Wendell in and out. No good. Rebound Lipinski. Lipinski. Wendell will find Cortez inside past to Grady. Well, it finally gets a call on that one right there. As Steen picks up his third. What did he do? Team's second. Two shots coming for Grady. I don't, that's pitiful. It looked like he was just standing there straight up. Grady hits the first. So Grady's four out of five tonight from the stripe. Scarlett checks in for William Blunt, Molden in for the Falcons. Grady cuts it to 15, 45-30, 3.15 remaining here in the third. Kimber with it, left hand bounce into the corner to his brother for three. No good, rebound. Wow, what, what a tightrope job Tyler Lee just did. Timeout, Jody Wright got it one, I think, right there, guys. This timeout gonna be brought to you by Blevins Realty Group, making buyers and sellers happy. We'll take a 30 second break. Back at William Blunt High School after the timeout. 2.54 to go here in the third. Blunt finds herself down a deep hole by 15, Robbie. Yep. You don't really see coming out of the way Fulton's played tonight. Yeah. But stranger things have happened here at the Marv. Moulton has it in the corner. Inside the Kimber, no good. Rebounded Trevor. He'll try to go quickly into the front court to Dabrowski. 
Grabowski gets it on the ground. We'll find Trevor, luckily. Robertson. Turnover. Put back rebound good by Moulton. You know, Robbie, you can say that William Blunt, and, and they've not played well, but it's because of Fulton. It's right. just not they didn't come out here and didn't play well. Right. Fulton forced Fulton them to play. Fulton is the reason why yeah. you're not playing good. Yeah. Look where the ball is. Yeah. Out here at the timeline. Pitch your dribble up. Two passes into the offense. Yeah, without a doubt, the best defense that we've at least covered here. Yeah, the only thing close that I, and I didn't, because I didn't go to Florida, didn't see Danish County, but Farragut, I thought, played pretty good. Yeah. There's a turnover in the backcourt for Fulton as Lee wasn't looking on the outlet. Not sure why you're throwing it to Lee. Maybe he was talk, trying to get it to his brother, Fair Dodge Kimber. Farragut's defense pl played really well, yeah. but we haven't seen the hounding right. defense like this, something that's just completely <laughs> made William Blunt uncomfortable on the offensive side of the court. Farragut just doesn't give you good looks, yeah. like going to the basket. But Trevor. Air ball and out of bounds. So buck 27 to go in this one. Excuse me, in the third quarter in this one, not, not in this game. Lewis over to Moulton on the right side. 1.22 to go here in the third. 17-point lead for the Falcons. They're defending 3A state champion. Five-second Five second count. So Blunt turned up the heat a little bit there on Fulton. That was a quick five. I think that's what Jody Wright said. Well, I mean, like they brought it into the front court at 1.22. Wendell finally catches it clean, lays it in. It went in. <laughs> Figured that one was going to bounce out. It looked like it was rattling out. Eighteen points for Caden Wendell tonight. Layup. Match that layup. We got a layup of their own on the other end. Penetration too easy. Cortez thought about a three. He's got Trevor. Third foul of the quarter on Fulton. That'd be Kimber's first. Dodge's first, I should say. And as Robbie said, that's only the third team foul, so non-shooting here. With 35.9, Fulton still has one to give. Browski will find Cortez. Kicks it to the corner to Wendell. Short on the three. Rebound backside lead. 20 seconds. Kimber shuffled his feet. I Shot so blocked too. by Cortez. And Smith gets it blocked by Cortez. <laughs> William Blunt students hadn't had much to say. <laughs> Yeah. They did. They took advantage of that, didn't they? <laughs> the one chant of the night. <laughs> Down 17. You know, chant, he's too little. 12 seconds. Baseline by Lee. Lee's not too little. He's, he gets the end one. And he just yelled in his face, and Craig Price just sat there and let him do it. Grady Robert, was it Grady or Dabrowski? I believe Dabrowski. Dabrowski, okay, it's his first. Looking to extend the lead to 20, and he does. Grady, two seconds left. Lewis took a, Lewis took a hit hard first. screen. Twenty-point lead for the Falcons. Getting close to adios time. Yeah. Two seconds. No shot. No shot at the buzzer. This quarter will come to an end. 32-52. We'll take a 30-second break.
Fulton still showing pressure on the inbound. 52-32 to start the fourth quarter. Left side, Dabrowski has it. Finds Wendell. There Needs it is. to make this one. He does. I will tell you, that's not very good trapping William Blunt right there to leave it to uh, uh, Robert. Uh, that's a party zone three ball by the roll arena. Leaving Caden open for the three shot. I guess maybe they thought they'd get the steal. Full court, man to man for William Blunt. Get a turnover here to start the fourth. Yeah. Taj Kimber double dribbles. So. His brother's set to check in here. He will. He's going to check in for Derek Smith. By the way, guys, that was Caden's 21st point on that three points. So, he's gotten to 20 in every game this year. That's, it's been a quiet one tonight. Trevor bouncing it, still guarded tightly out of the timeline. Dabrowski turns the corner. Cortez thought about it. Now finds Grady. Grady gets the way. stolen from him. Kimber lays it up, lay it in. Pitiful. Yeah, I mean, he had no space to pivot. All he do, all he was doing was pivoting. Oh. Yeah. Not going to get the call tonight, though. He's, not, he's inside the cylinder of the body. That's just a pitiful call. This timeout brought to you by Circulation Station. Relieving pain with technology. Get three free treatments when you tell them you listen to the Voice of Champions AM 1470. We'll take a 30-second break. Yikes. How much more you can say? Fulton's outplayed us and now they got the out whistled us. Yeah. That's <laughs> just. Yeah, they, you know, they deserve to win. There's a layup by Wendell. But, I mean, the officials have not done a very good job tonight either. No. Uh, they, they but that, that does not. No, that me, doesn't change. That the doesn't take We're away from what Fulton has yeah, done. Fulton's, yeah. out, Fulton's outclassed us tonight, there's no doubt. But. When they gave us a warning, they gave a coach a warning, on it, and then the guy gets an end warning, throws a fist in our player's yeah. face, and they just walk off like it's the same guy that called the warning. Kimber knocks that one down. There should come a hand check call soon. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to get anything tonight, but, you know, Robbie, that, that definitely was, I felt like, an elbow to the head. But yeah, it was on, if, you call, that, if you call the what original you should, contact, then that what didn't even get to that. So that was just. Steen's cramped up or something. Uh, well, he got rolled over by Dabrowski there. Oh. Able to make his way to the bench under his own power. Derek Smith is going to check in for him. See if he'll get looked at by a trainer. On Wendell in the corner, guarded by Lee inside to Lipinski. He's felt that. There's, there's the hand there's check. There's your hand check. It's Lipinski. He's going to get a layup, probably, as that goes against Danaj Kimber, his second. First foul of the second, or fourth quarter, excuse me. Cortez catches it, fires to Trevor. Thought about the three, pump face. Gets in, short. How was he able to? He's being grabbed, pulled to the ground. What are they? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Lipinski had the ball and he got tackled. He had more contact in that play than he had all football season. That one's going to go out of bounds. It'll be William Blunt basketball. 
I just don't think they're going to blow the whistle. No, not at this point. They haven't done it all night while we, starting we, out. We fouled three times right there, it looked like. Yeah. yeah. And see, this is what you don't want, though, guys, because you don't want somebody, either team, to get hurt. Yeah, and they're in a 19-point blowout. This, just because, you know, that they're – and I think the officials are frustrated, too, because it's not been a real smooth game and so forth. But you can't just quit doing your job. No, they've swallowed their whistles and are unable to pull it back up. Just because you got to protect the kids. They're going to say that's off of Wendell's leg. Wendell feels like it was tipped out of his hands. I don't know. I, I don't know. I from, couldn't no, see. The, camera, the camera's got a better angle than we do. We're on the back side of that. Referee was standing right there, though. Smith working around the horn to Lewis. Lewis will attack the paint. Foul called here. I guess they're going to protect. It's going to be on Lipinski. <laughs> huh. Protect their players, aren't they? Yikes. It was a foul. Lewis misses the first. Nobody in to rebound for Fulton. And misses both over two from the line this time. And, and one. one. So there's a call. Now he caught, now the the, the yeah. vertical rule that he hasn't went by all game. He now says that they were that they weren't vertical. Taj Kimber picks up his third, team second. Grady at the line looking to shoot the three-point play the old-fashioned way, and he does. And he just shoved Grady down. Ten points, Grady now for that nice steal right there for Cortez. Away. He said, I'll take that, thank you. I like the fact that William Blunt had to quit playing. Get my, oh, they're going to get Grady. Grady's falling down into the guy. I think Lee gets the benefit of the doubt because he's taller, Robbie. I guess. You know, he's and taller longer. and longer. And, and so. Five. There they got him. That layup right there. Needed an and one right there in that last possession. That would have been nice. Yeah. Wendell shots corner three. Off. Off. A turnover, turnover by Fulton. So. Fulton has given William Blunt opportunities to get back into this game. We just haven't connected on the shots. It's great. He just turnover. loses it right there. That's that's correct call on that one. Yep. Four minutes to go here. Steen back in. That's good to see for the Falcons. Yeah, I don't yeah. want anybody to get hurt. No. So. Especially in a non-district game. Right. Just, a, just a game that both teams want to get better from. Inside pass. Nice. Yeah, hand in his face doesn't matter. Good shot by Lewis. And it could have been a body foul on Lipinski. Foul yeah. on one of the Kimber twins. Four would be Denage. His third, so they both have three each. That's the team's third, so. And they are super aggressive on every catch. Yeah. Steen picks up his fourth, and that's the team's fourth, so Blunt will be in the bonus. The last 332 of the contest. Or contest. Mm. Cortez thought about a long three. They're just 
just every pass, every dribble handoff is contested. Oh, nice. Good body control Cortez. by Cortez. His first basket of the night. Timeout Fulton. This timeout is going to be brought to you by Barner Burger, home of the two for $9 quarter pounders with cheese. We'll take a 30 second break. We are back at William Blunt High School. Three minutes to go in this one as Fulton leads by 16. 58-42 was your score. Lewis in the corner, trap him there. He gets it to Lee. Lee will go baseline and then lay it up in the end and one. And uh, not been like that, but it's going to officially adios William Blunt. Max Lipinski picks up his fourth. Adios, brought to you by Heartland Roofing. Give Nate a call, all your roofing needs. And 15 points for Mr. Lee. Make it 16. So he's done a great job tonight. It's a good looking player. Now which one, Robert? He's going to He's the one going to Huntsville. Yeah, I could see. The other ones don't have all, uh, don't have uh, the so, big offers, but they've got some like yeah. small schools. Lewis picks up his first foul. That'll send Grady to the line for two shots, as that's number five for Fulton. William Blunt's committed four this quarter, so both teams will be in the the, uh, the uh, bonus. I start to say double bonus, but that's all there is now. Sometimes I forget the new rules there. As Grady gets that one to drop, so Grady now. A lot from the free throw line as he is seven of eight from the line. He has 11 points, make it 12. Lewis being hounded by Cortez, might have fouled him. Another timeout by Fulton before the 10 second call. Well. Okay. This one brought to you by Trinity Chiropractor. Get your life forces switched on with Dr. Evan Butcher. Take a 60 second break. Three to go in this one. As Fulton has come to William Blunt, Robbie, and pretty much showed them that they are a very good basketball team. Yeah, they are. And there's a dunk by Lee. Yeah, and this is why you don't press them. They're so good at yeah. every ball handling and uh, beating the trap. They made us pay, so. Yeah, I mean, you're down 17. What are you going to do? But Ooh, that was nice. That was, yeah, that was smooth by Sea Dog. Get it to Steen in the middle. He will find Lee again. Lee shot up and in. So smooth underneath is Lee. Grady will lob it up to Wendell, catch it and score. So Wendell's going to end up with a new nine, or a 
a nice night, Rob. He's got 28. 28 of the 49. That's yeah. 21 points coming from other players. Lipinski tried to take a charge. Charge right there, a lot Grady. of contact. Grady with a nice spin move. Better watch from behind. It's going to draw the foul from Kimber, his fourth. It'll be a shooting two-shot foul. So Grady goes back to the line. Eight of nine from the line. He's made a living there tonight. He's got 12 points. Missed him. I jinxed him, didn't I? See if he can get the other one now. Eight of ten. 77% free throw shooter on the season. So. Got it. Steen, got to get the ball out of his hands. Let's try to trap him. Had an open three, didn't take it. No, no reason to run nope. the clock. Make him play defense. Lee will attack, lay it in. Unbelievable. He's just a monster inside, isn't he? You said he's got a good th looking three point shot, too, Rob? Yeah, a decent little shot. It's Robertson Maybe, gets huh? good. Lee's got 22 tonight. So he's. I just don't see a lot of teams probably beating this Fulton team. Nope, not in AAA. Losing to a AAA team at Murfreesboro yeah, Central. Yeah, kind of. I just don't see many teams triple or, or 4A in, in East Tennessee beating them. They beat, you said Beard and Farragut, Maryville. Have they played? I don't guess they've played Oak Ridge, have they? I don't think they did, no. Cortez picks up his fourth. Two shots coming here for the freshman scheme. Steen, I'm sorry. We won the night, Robbie. You know, freshmen get 10 points from the night from the freshman. That one come off his hand bad. You know, the Kimbers really not hurt them too much <laughs> as far as the scoring. They have in other ways, but as Steen misses both of those. And then we get a out of bounds, I think. Another turnover. Or Robertson was on the baseline. Or so on the sideline. 14.6. Don't foul. Just, yeah, point. just back off. Yeah, and let, let them dribble, dribble out. out. Nobody gets hurt. Both teams go on their way. And we'll go from there. He does have to get it across. Yeah, that's true. They do. Seven seconds. Five so seconds left. Your final score here from Marvin L. Boring Gymnasium. Fulton, 67. William Lutton, 52. 15-point win for the Falcons. And we'll bring it back here in a couple minutes and wrap it up here from Marvin L. Boring Gymnasium.
All right, back here with the post game. Post -game. Brought to you by Anywhere, or I'm sorry, actually, it's going to be brought to you by Heartland Roofing. A plus rated by the Better Business Bureau and a five star rating on Google. Give Nate a call at 865 323 5933. William Blunt falls tonight, 67-52. Stan, you have the score. Thank you, Robbie. I sure do. For William Blunt, they were led by Caden Wendell's 28 points tonight, so he puts up a lot uh, tonight, 28. Grady Robertson with 15 as well, but after that, there's not a lot of scoring from William Blunt. They couldn't get the other the guys going as they had three from Scarlett, two from Cortez, two from Lipinski, and two from Lucas Henson. And that's a total of 52. So Grady and Caden put up 43 of 52 for William Blunt. Over on the other side, they were led by Tyler Lee's 22 points. Very uh, good-looking post player for the Fulton Falcons. Also, uh, you had uh, Taj Kimber adding 11 points. Nick Steen, the freshman, with 10 points. Eight points from Dexter Lewis. Six points from Dexter Moulton. Four each from... Derek Smith and Dinaj Timber and two points from Travis Turner. That's a total of 67. Once again, your score was 67 for Fulton. William Blunt had 52. Blunt drops to 15 and three on the season. I think Fulton goes to 15 and one yep. on the season. So, you know, these two teams will not meet each other again. This was a non-district game, non-classification yeah, game as yeah. well. So. It's Fulton's 38. Two good teams. Yeah, and that's what you really want. So I feel like William Blunt, you know, they they got to they they know what they have to work on against some of these teams that are right. And, and I think and really all three losses, well, not really the Hamilton, but the last two losses, really showed about the ball handling yeah. and what we we got to be able to handle the ball pressure better. We had way too many turnovers. We'll get the final number tomorrow. Probably talk about it Friday. Yeah. Uh, when the huddle stats come through. But Friday night, we'll be back in action here on GovNation Network. We'll start it all around 6 o'clock when the girls tip off from uh, Heritage High School. Uh, was that Yogi Wilson Gymnasium and Rick, uh, Rick Howard, Howard Court. Court? So we'll be there Friday night uh, uh, against the Mountaineers as the Mountaineers girls, I think, have won... I got it right here. I know they lost to McMinn Central over No, I'm talking about against us. Oh, yeah. Uh, da, da, da. They got a really good team. Ten. Ten, ten, ten in a row. Eleven, think, yeah. 11 after the eleven other night. After, okay. And William Blunt's got 15 in a row on the boys' side of things. So a couple streaks that uh, teams want to get uh, corrected in their direction. Uh, but what that will do, that will be the final uh, really uh, tune-up tune game, game before you get into the district and when things really start to matter and the season starts to take shape. I think it's like nine straight district games, right? Yep, after, starting next after Tuesday. Tuesday night at Hardin Valley. We will not have that game. but yep. So, so thank you all for listening uh, and watching tonight here on the GovNation Network. And we will see you all Friday night, two nights from now, against the Lady Mountaineers and Mountaineers of Heritage. So long and God bless.